Welcome to a new series in the RPG Real Play Sessions. This is the End of Ages, using the core rule system of Jack's own devising. In this episode, the birds attack, Grey gets a nickname, and Asterius Paranoia shows up again. Now on to the adventure. Okay, so we've basically assigned Rob his his yeah. full days, uh, and you wanted to do what? I want to look for Bertrand and for oil to make fires. Okay, so uh, where would you where would you think that's going to be? What's what's the destination uh, for either of those? Well, we've been everywhere except for the stables and the keep. In the well, I guess, but I don't think the oil will be in the well. Right, so the keep, I think, is probably the best way to go. Okay. Oh, there, oh, by the way, before you leave, there was also a storeroom across the way. Maybe in there, but it didn't. It looked like mostly food. I didn't think I didn't see any barrels or anything. I don't think. And like, you were, oh, I did see one barrel. But I assumed it was liquor, but maybe it's oil. Check. I'll check the stores quick since I'm here. He's busy. Yeah. I can <laughs> run over the stores. I'm here, and then and then if I well, we'll see what I find there, and then maybe the keep. Okay, so you go to the supply room, and um, so you start r- rummaging around in there. There's various types of preserved foods, uh, commonly used for uh, during the winter months. And the keg is large and oak. Uh, seared into the wooden face is an angular heart shape, like a heart shape, but like it's just angular. Um, I don't know what, like a silhouette almost. Like, and under the that are the words Stoneheart Brewery. And it's barely legible, but you can, can you read it. It looks like it's been branded. Okay. Is it full? Do, 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 do. Sounds like there's plenty of beer in there. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, is there a glass around? Hanging from the spigot is a mug. I'd like to pour myself a glass of beer. <laughs> okay. A little liquid courage? Well, no. Is it beer? Yes. It's definitely beer. Oh, beer. yeah. Oh yeah, it smells like beer. It, uh, it, it beer doesn't light on fire. I'm just seeing maybe it was some sort of flammable liquor yeah. as well. Uh, so whatever, I'll uh, I won't waste it. I'll mm, <laughs> sip it and walk walk on walk on out and then go to the keep. So you're day drinking, wandering the keep with a beer in your hand. I uh, that brings a tear to my heart. Actually. <laughs> a tear to my eye. And, uh, I'm working hard. I'm sweating my ass off. He's <laughs> <and> wandering, <laughs> drinking beer in the morning. <laughs> Put some good chop in there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you take the the mug and you walk up to the keep. The keep doors are locked. The keep doors are locked. Yes. Okay, so I need to find Bertrand and or a key to this place or uh, well, whatever. It's a keep. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash it down or pick it. Okay, I'm gonna find Bertrand. So I, I know he's not in the residence. I can. You saw one room of the residence. But you also were told you weren't allowed up there, so... Oh, yeah. Let's just start screaming his name. <laughs> Bertrand! Mm. Bertrand! I don't want to do that exactly, because... Well, we were with Bertrand, right? Weren't we? And then we all went to the residence, and where did Bertrand go? He was back at... He left the guardhouse. He was still at the guardhouse when... Uh... Yeah, I think he was roughly there. So I'll check back at the guardhouse. Okay. So, uh... You're, you're roughing up the... You're framing this, uh... This thing, and... Uh... Do you, what kind of carpentry background do you have? Uh, uh. You said it was gonna be rough and utilitarian. Yeah. It, I can't, I don't, I can't remember what I was and working here. as before. I was a. Shit. I have a description here somewhere. I did, was working as something, but I can't remember what it was now. Oh, you have that sheet. What does my sheet say? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's about being a carpenter. I, I don't remember what I was. I think I was you just a street a urchin. F- f- fishing village, yeah. uh, a city on the ocean, possibly nautical. Uh, yeah. Pretty much I'm putting on. boards across so over I think it's going to be wide enough, and then two just to hold them in place. It's like a plank. Okay. so you've, It's not going to be beautiful, that's for damn sure. You've roughed in, basically, you, you, you're guesstimating, remembering the size from the, your head, thinking, ah, oh, this will probably lay over the whole. It's. it's yeah. So it's something basically passable for protection. It's just so people don't fall in the hole. Okay. So that's done. So you've wandered the, the keep a bit more. You've come your head back to the guardhouse. Yeah, I think so. So I went to the keep and the, it was locked. So 
I'm going to go where I think where trend is. So you're beelining it through the, the trees that are soon to be a kindling. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And you get to the guardhouse. And inside is Bertrand. He's got the, the windows open. And he's just kind of, you know, kind of maxing and relaxing. Hey, hey, Bertrand, any chance we can get access to the keep? The hey, doors were locked. Any chance you brought more of that? Uh, this beer right here? Oh, I, you know, I... I it's foolish. I got uh, I got my buddy there, Gray, all worried about uh, an owl attack. So uh, I only just poured it as silly as it was, just to make sure it was beer, not oil, so that we could uh, help help light these bonfires. But I'll happily go get you one. I'm just worried about the keep, though. Oh well, as long as you don't drink too much, that's got to last us both through the entire winter. I again, again, what you see here is basically what was left, and what was what, 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 I, what, I, what I wear. <laughs> I took in the glass. I was just again, just had to be sure it wasn't oil in there because sometimes things get mislabeled and, and whatnot. Oh, understood, understood. No, no problem. So uh, it looks like he's pulled one of the beds up to the windowsill. He's got the the shutters open, and he's got his feet up there, and he's. Just kind of soaking in the like a vacation day. Uh, the, the the weather's not great, but but probably better than being in a windowless keep for years on and studying. So, hmm. yeah, and you look pretty relaxed there. Um, again, uh, how do I get into the keep here? Oh, it's locked. The door is locked. I I went to look in to look for oil and. Uh, 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 we don't we don't have oil in there. Well, yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll uh, take a look. We got to, we'll walk you up there, and uh, bef- there no way we can do it like like today. I, I, it's really my only job at this point. <laughs> kind of just relaxing here. I thought we were gonna. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need you to walk me there. I mean, do you have keys or whatever? I mean, I mean, to keep, I'm a. Oh, no, I would have to. No, no, there's antiques there. There's I couldn't just let anyone who helps themselves to beer. <laughs> Walk around with quite some antiques. No offense, uh, I know uh, stairs here. You're, you're a nice guy and all, but it has to be supervised. It really has to be supervised. Oh well, maybe Leonard can uh, show me around there. I could ask him. Like, he kind of just looks like. A, Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, because cause, cause Leonard would give me a hard time about it, right? As opposed to you, our friend. <laughs> He's pretty. He's pretty ordinary. Uh, apparently, he's getting close to his uh, the work he's working on. So, as uh, the days, he's, he's just been getting a little more, a little more uptight. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, but yeah, I was just about to uh, have a little bit of a pipe. Uh, you want to? Uh, you want to? Oh, do you smoke? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't. But uh, I have these cigars here. Do you like cigars? Ooh. Well, I don't know. I don't know the quality of them here. Uh, here, I'll just hand them uh, two cigars. I don't know if they're if they're any good or not. You let me know here. Are they good? Oh, I haven't had a cigar in a while. Ooh. Of course, you're welcome to them, but uh, it would it, it would do me a favor if I could just. I, I promise, I won't touch anything. I'm not here to do anything, but I just uh, just just to check that keep out. That's all. Well, there's no oil, and uh, I can guarantee you that. But we could, we could probably do a little, a little poking around. That that'd be that'd be nice. Um, and on the way, uh, what exactly does uh, uh, what does Leonard study? He's uh, he does. Um, we met him briefly. He yelled at us. Oh, was he downstairs making his breakfast? I I don't. No, my ignorance is, uh, I went upstairs. I, I didn't know what was upstairs. He kind, he kind of laughs. He kind of laughs. He's, he's got his, he's, he's got the pipe out and he's poking some, he's got the tobacco pouch and he, he, he's, he's, he's loving the, uh, human interaction. So he's, he's kind of just like in his, in his glory there. Oh, he can be miserable. Oh, he can be miserable. But, uh, no, I, I. We only got a few more years, and hopefully, we de- decommission the tower and get everything out that has. What, what, uh, I I like history. And I like to learn, and you look like a learned man. And if you don't mind sharing some stories with me, what was the key? Like, it's obviously been essentially decommissioned, if you yeah. will. Uh, I mean, what 
who who had it before? What was the history of the uh, the armies that had it before? I mean, well, I was poking around the workshop and we happened to notice a um, what do you call it? A sigil. It was a looked like a, a dragon and a, a griffin and a horn underneath, red and white. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. He lights the pipe up. He he's, he sinks even lower, and his feet get a Oh, you better take up a seat. Oh, well, I'd love to. Can we just walk to the? I don't even care about the keeping. There's no oil there. That's all I was looking for. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's beat you down. <laughs> well, uh, uh, right. uh, the, the keep uh, it was uh, mostly family uh, operated. Um, this was part of a place. I don't know the the, the vine land. It used to be called. Um, and this was all uh, Gareth territory before the b- b- before the realm became uh, the Bormer family. Uh, uh, before all the the political stuff was sorted out, you see. And he, so yeah, um, so uh, that family through generations they were uh, charged with uh, keeping keeping watch over this area of the river. It was very narrow, and uh, the enemies, uh, particularly, they said. To, there's some goblin tribes across there, but also uh, House Farga has a has a big citadel over there. It just it was, this was like a like a bird's eye view of possible problems um, that the, the Gareth uh, family uh, had uh, entrusted these people. Um, and then after the War of the Gods, uh, it ch- kind of changed uh, kind of changed functions, and he a couple a couple more. And I, Oh, he points up at the up at the trees. Oh, you see that? That, that uh, I think it was a, a red-breasted spackle. I think that's what that was. Anyways, yeah, and um, the, once once it was decommissioned and the family left, they took their personal belongings. But there are a lot of relics that were left behind, and my job has been to categorize, find, categorize, send to the appropriate locations where I think historically. The best place for it to, to be. Now, have you found anything that surprised you, or have you not found something that perhaps surprised you? Is there anything? Is is there uh, anything in particular that was rumored to have been left behind that uh, you know, might have of greater value or importance than other things that are has remained missing? Funny you mention that. Uh, my work, uh, like I said, I work with time. I've, uh, I've studied time. I'm not a priest of the time gods, but I have worked, uh, uh, I went to school, uh, uh, Woodhaven. I went to the, uh, the, the magic school in Woodhaven, the, um, the Estrin Keep. You must have heard of it. It's famous for if you want to learn, get the fundamentals. Um, I heard the best study there. Oh, yes, for sure. Um, so uh we, we, we our understanding is there's a uh, there's, there's there is a device in the keep that I I'm working on that has uh, the ability to uh transport between locations. Mm-hmm. So I I'm I, my I'm out of my league I think a space uh mage would have been a, a better a better fit but uh you know I'm, I'm, I I got some angles I'm working on. He kind of gives you like an elbow. I got I got some I got some pokers in the fire. Uh, they're not paying me to be uh, for if I'm not the guy for the job. Am I right? Yeah, you're right on that. So like you've got this thing and you're figuring it out, kind of idea. Yes, yes. Oh, it's it's one of the last few uh, antiques. Uh, this is actually a feature in the tower, which I why I'm, I'm really locked in. I've got my uh, I've got my eye on because, like I said, the, the, well, the if that's geography true. can change here any second now, and I want to learn everything before it happens. Yeah, if you could uh, get that working, you'd have the power to transport from, say, one tower to another. You can move move resources. It'd be a powerful uh, weapon to or not a weapon, a tool. Let's say I don't say weapon. Weapon's a bit of a harsh word, but but a powerful tool in the uh, right and or in the right hands. Back in the day. They use them all the time. There, there's, this one's a hub. This one, uh, it very much is directional. You, uh, you could, you could send, uh, personnel or items to a lot of locations. There's some of the, the, the smaller types of these items are, um, your standard fare, small, really finicky, but this, this is, this is a top notch, uh, thing, but, uh, but, uh, no, I wasn't surprised by that. That, uh, we were expecting that. We knew that was there. 
That's interesting. When we were in the town, it feels like it's going to be a cold winter. Like I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this one. My first couple of years here, didn't mind it so much. The isolation is part of the job, but it's starting to wear on me. I'll be happy when this is all over. Hmm. <clears throat> well, what does Leonard do again? Well, have you ever mentioned it? Ah, uh, uh, he does. Um, he he does uh, code breaking mostly. Code breaking, say for the for the machine, the device. No, something entirely different. What was it good as a code breaker here? It, not, uh, he he was sent because it was well outside my expertise. So there's some sort of code that needs to be broken. Um, some sort of some sort of riddle to be uh, to, to to be solved. That I don't know. It might have to do with, uh, there's a, there's an artifact here that we're rumored to be here. Yeah, what was the artifact? Rumored. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a dwarven, it's a part of a dwarven, uh, contraption, uh, used in the War of the Gods that was dismantled to make sure it was far too powerful. Mm. That's the rumor, anyways. Hmm. Okay. Again, once he's wrapped up his, we'll get to, I'll wrap up my, uh, what I'm doing in the keep proper, and then uh, on the next assignment, am I right? Yeah. Uh, For someone my age, I think I've really, really lucked out. This normally someone far older and far, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it was me. I've learned a lot. Hmm. Seems like a pretty important keep to Scott. The ability to maybe teleport, or at least had the ability, and perhaps a weapon that was used to fight gods. And yet, here we are, right here in this moment in time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and isn't it wonderful, he says. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so you know what? Uh, you look so relaxed. I didn't want to bug you about the keep. So, you know, when, you, when you're up to it tomorrow, perhaps... You know, if, if I'm not going to get in your way. You'll have to tour. I would just love to see your work. Um, just real quick, uh, historically speaking, uh, who would be, uh, who would be in line to, if, if by chance, like, uh, um, hold on a second. I just got to put my names here. Okay. And I got to pee. Okay. And we probably need drinks. Who would be most to benefit if the Mormons were to, uh, lose their power? That's what I was going to ask. Well, that's a that's a that's that's a big question. This guy seems to be well interested in uh, visiting, so he might even answer. Mm-hmm. Dun dun dun! Uh, I'll tell you about the Leonard thing later. I just don't want to uh, Leonard to hear because I think. He's well, better. I thought you were in on it. What? <laughs> I thought totally you were in on it. I was like, Dave's got a secret mission. I do have a secret mission, but I'll tell you about that later, too. <laughs> There's, but I thought you were like, the way you played it, you are like, perfect. You're like, okay. Because yeah, you changed even the way you talked. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ, this guy's a secret mission. This guy's paranoid. That Leonard guy's paranoid more than me. Yeah, that's that's hard. The doctor. I may have met the doctor. Anyways, we'll talk about that. But it sounds like there's some sort of... Uh, Teleporting is fun. Well, from what I know and the paranoia I'm feeling, it sounds like there's some sort of... Um, What's the word? Uh, Conspiracy? Yeah, no. What's the other word when... uh... Shh, he's back. (laughs) Don't want to tell you, boys. Don't want to tell you. Rebellion? Who? Which side are we on? Uh, I think right now both. (laughs) In the middle are pawns. If I won't. You're both well aware that the, 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 the royal family, for the most part, is beloved. Peace has been, it's been a very prosperous, peaceful time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't there like a whole section of the world that hates them? And I wonder why we both had Woodhaven written down. <laughs> I had Woodhaven. Oh, there's a magic school there. Oh, is that where the Cobalt uh, wanted me to go to? Woodhaven? And mm-hmm. go to the. Yes, maybe. Bertrillion? Bertrillion? Something like that? For some rogue training, mm. but I'm thinking, anyways. 
Oh. I wrote Edmund missing, kill all birds. <laughs> That's my notes for this adventure so far. Kill all good. birds. That's, good adventure. That's a good note. Some good note taken, Lou. Might be a chance. We have to think of a way to kill a lot of birds at once. Alka Seltzer. There's tons of Alka Seltzer everywhere. So, you were asking about who would want to overthrow. I didn't stop it because oh. that, that was all on Mike. Oh. Uh oh. Da, da, da. Who would yeah. want to overthrow the. Uh, well, the I'm just. You know what? I just. I've only been here a little while, and like. I'm going to lay my cards on the table here. Uh, I'm some guy that they. That, that they grabbed off the street and said, hey, look, you're a green cloak now. Congratulations. And I got. So uh, that's a well established, time honored tradition that uh, you should be proud of. No, it's garbage, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's garbage, and you know it. A, a learned man would, would know that's no way to uh, to have a have a loyal and faithful army. And I think what, what's been created is not a loyal and faithful army. And you've got people on one side, and you've got people on the other side. I, I've been here for for three weeks, and I've got groups of people saying, "Hey, man, join join us and do this for us." It's crazy. Okay, uh, so that was your inside monologue. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> apparently you say that to him. <laughs> apparently, Bertrand's been pointing out a nut hatch that was up on the top of the tree there, and uh, you know had had mentioned that uh, you know a couple winters ago it was real bad, and I, I had to uh, let the that they had to really like buckle in for a, a bad a bad deal. Scarcity was a, an issue. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Well, I did want to ask that question about uh, who might uh, benefit. You hear, you hear a tree outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, eventually you see uh, uh, Gray lugging in. He's humped this thing from <laughs> a, a, a makeshift hatch. He's carried all the way from... The residence, and he's trying to get it in through the guard, the guard door. Sweat on his brow. Made a hatch. Good job. And you're you, you, you've got a little bit of beer left, and it's getting a little room temperature. So you've both had some some arduous tasks. Uh, you've both got some some face some uh, adversity. Yes, I'm gonna finish my beer, obviously. <laughs> so he continues to sip his beer while you lug the hatch over to the. Now, just uh, give me give me one roll just to see what the uh, how, how shitty this hatch was. Yeah, again the the, the, the most, dice have not failed me yet. The most important will be the crit, roll, uh, crit dice. Four and a ten. Oh, I failed on the. Uh, my crit dice was low, but my other one was terrible. Yeah, and you weren't really rolling against. It. Anything other than I, I gave it a a ranking of uh, of difficult. And s- did you get under six? No. Nope. Okay. It is it's rickety shit. Like it is it is garbage. You've you've, you've wasted half the day, and you look down and you go, oh, it's kind of t- teeters a little bit, and it's it. it you could claim that it's this a temporary fix to keep someone from falling in, but it is not a, it's a temporary fix. to... S- Quit people from falling in. I'm gonna go cut down some trees. At least I can do that without. Uh, I'm not a carpenter. Keep away from when he swings anything. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut down trees. So then, uh, so then he goes out of earshot, and Bertrand looks and goes, "Ooh, that'll be firewood." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably just shouldn't send anybody up here to fix stuff, but uh, what are you gonna do? If you had come from Gull Forest, that thing would have been inlaid by uh, there. There would have been a nice, smooth finish, a little bit of linseed oil, maybe a. You asked me to gut a fish, I could have done it. Hmm. So uh, you've uh, spent half the day c- conversing and learning and walking. What are you up to? Well, I just want to know, like, who he thinks would. Uh, you know, it, uh, go, you know, go after it happened, but if for some reason the uh, Warmer family ceased to be in power, who would benefit the most? I don't know. Political parties, maybe, if, uh, maybe, maybe some religions. That's uh, hard to say. The royal family is pretty, 
regicide is is out of the question. Uh, even even targeting members of the, the extended family after that last incident is pretty. It's non-existent. It's been it's been settled that that just doesn't happen anymore. I didn't know there was a last incident. Oh yeah, about ten years no five years ago. One of his nieces got kidnapped. Bandits, they thought at first. They sent a party and uh, turned out to be a whole a whole intrigue. They sent some uh, some officers from the uh, from the royal guard, and one of them uh, he took his task very seriously. After he caught the bandits, though the bandits murdered the niece um, in their escape, tried to you know loose ends, and uh, yeah, uh, the officer caught them, killed them, found out who paid them, killed him, worked all the way up to a branch of the uh, life church that uh, that was trying to you know gain some political power, and uh, he murdered everyone in there as well. Well, he, he must be a hero. What was his name? Uh, well, he, a uh, hero is a little... Some of the the women that were there that he, he wasn't allowed to... Uh, he had taken an oath not to put the sword to a woman, so he quite literally dunked their heads in... Uh, in the uh, caustic liquid until they drowned, burning alive. So a hero is probably not. But a- after that, once he he just went off into the sunset. I don't know where he went since, but since then, no one has made a, a play for the royal family. Not even, not even a distant. Hmm. I can understand why. You have to be really careful. Uh, yeah. <sighs> no, that's uh, that's it for now. Oh, how about I go get you one of those beers? You've been standing a long time. I offered you a seat. We could uh, we could have been doing this all reclined like, but uh, oh, sure. I'm I'm, I'm quite relaxed. I'm when you go. guys leave, I have to go back to work. So I'm planning to make the most of this my downtime. Yeah, hopefully. Anyways, uh, you want a beer? The kitchen has some mugs. So there's uh maybe maybe there's a patio on the residence, maybe we'll head out there. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go get some beer, some mugs, I'll get uh I'll get two. <laughs> okay. He, he slaps his he's uh he slaps his knees, gets his walking stick, and uh and uh he starts following you to the residence. And, All right. <laughs> now, this, it's a one it's a two man saw. <laughs> and I'm going to need you to, uh, can you manhandle it? I'm going to go under fitness as a... Yep. Uh, I got, I'm uh, pretty fit. Oof, 11 and a 9. 11 for my fitness. And how, and how fit are you? I'm just fit, so I think I've failed. Yeah. You see him, he's struggling with this saw. He can't get it started up there. Oh, well, I'll help him. Uh, you can do it. <laughs> Keep going. We believe in you. All right, now, both those beers. <laughs> I'd get you a beer, but it's way too funny just to have you work on the whole time while I'm just chilling. Maybe I'll just let the birds kill them. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> you see them walk past, they go into the residence, and you, you've established that there's these saws are not going to do it, but there's got to be an axe or something around. like the, the, There was no axe in the... Uh... No, but, but quite literally... This two handed there's two two handed saws. So someone, p- parties of consenting adults have used these for probably the same purpose. Not the the trees in what used to be the decorative uh, like a, a boreal center, but certainly. I'm gonna toss the saw off to one side. Or, yes. No, I, I've had a change of heart. I'll be right back. I see he needs a little help with the saw. I'm gonna be right back. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, Here's the mugs. You know where the beer is. I'll be back in a jiffy. I'll meet you in the patio. Sounds great. I'm going to go over and, uh, hey, man, you need a hand? We can't find any oil. Um, let's start sawing a little bit. Okay, we'll saw this goddamn and, tree down. And as we start sawing, I'm going to tell him uh, that uh, I'm going to tell him everything. <laughs> right? the you, will, you will have to say everything because what are you telling him? Well, uh, for whatever reason, there's a discourse in the uh, Discord. military, I think. 
Uh, no, I said what I said. <laughs> People are just talking? <laughs> People are at the pub. <laughs> No, uh, talking. Yeah. no, uh, <laughs> no the, the mayor, the mayor, uh, hooked me up with somebody who was, who was, uh, well dressed, well groomed. Uh, you know, he wants me to take notes on the comings and goings of armies and missions, which I find to be strange. When I went up there, upstairs with that Leonard guy, uh, somehow he was like, oh yeah, uh, is everyone mad at me? Don't kill me. Uh, uh, I'm going to find the thing in a couple of days. Let the doctor know it's all under control. I don't quite get it. I'm thinking, the, my, my, my point is, the reason why I'm coming to you with this is, one is we're pals, we share everything. Two is, this guy's paranoid and he's weak. And I see four men here and one of them is strong. It's me. That's right, that's you. <laughs> so this paranoid guy who's looking for this device, which you'll have in a couple of days, which we can just wait till he gives us the device. And also we can threaten him. Well, that sounds like a good idea to wait for him to give you the device. Yep, that's fine, but he he knows he know he knows things. We just got to protect ourselves against this bird attack tonight. Make it through. Probably next night too, and then. Uh, I mean, we could kill both these guys right now, and like, who's ever going to know? I don't see much advantage killing either of them. I mean, I even have a note that we could just give, and it would be all like, yeah, obviously he was alive. He gave us his note. Yeah, well, it's in his handwriting. What would be the advantage of killing these guys? <laughs> I started into multiple homicides now. He went from... I have some suspicions. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm political <laughs> intrigue in the realm. No, you got no, you got, no sorry. sorry my, my brain hasn't hasn't fully come up with the, the plan yet. My point is, is that I don't know who to trust. And we're being put in the middle of this as I'm being asked to spy on people. And... Did they offer you a reward? No, I, I didn't... I didn't... I, I, I knew immediately I was just going to uh, screw with them, so uh, I didn't care what the, I just I just the reward was you know helping out the cause or whatever should I said. Hmm. There's no real point unless we get reward. <laughs> well, according to well, you like the scorpion things. According to uh, I don't like these things. I just it was a way to make money if we happen to see one. Well, according to Bertrand, uh, there's two special artifacts here. One can uh, teleport you from one spice to another, but if you can believe that. Uh, another like one. Uh, another one was a weapon the dwarves built to kill gods. Mm, well, I, I do mean, like the sound of that too. I mean, I mean, I, and I don't know what this this, this Leonard guy is looking for. Uh, I think, but, uh, but, 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 but uh, part of me thinks he's here to spy on Bertrand since they've asked me to do the same thing. Did you uh, check out the uh, keep? Uh, the keep is locked, and uh, Bertr- apparently it's filled with antiquities. And Bertrand practically refuses to let me in. I didn't want to push the matter as I as he began telling me about these artifacts and whatnot they're looking for. So is I mean, he going to let us in eventually? He says tomorrow. Okay, so we got to survive the night. Tomorrow, we'll see what we can do, and we'll maybe we'll get some stuff. Yeah, this learned guy's paranoid, but uh, don't 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 let on. He just thinks like I'm some agent of the doctor, whoever the doctor is. But I think the doctor might have been the guy I met. I was I was never introduced. Uh, my my point is, I think there's some sort of um, rebellion brewing brewing, and I think that. That that the wards and us are being used as pawns in one, one form or another. Well, that's what I think. Now I could be totally off base, but uh, I mean that Leonard guy confessed everything to me, and I, or at least confessed what I told you. And I and all I did was all I did was say, all I, all I said was, "Yeah, I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover." <laughs> and he's like, "Thank God, come here, let me tell you all this thing." Like it's been bubbling up inside of him. It's so he's, funny. He's probably got some mental issues. Yeah, and there's some beer there. If you want some beer. We're going to take this tree down. We're going to build a bonfire, get it ready for the night. We'll probably build it in front of the residence, hold up in the uh, residence, and then retreat to the workshop if we have to. Well, I see. The residence, because the workshop goes is connected to the residence. That'll uh, be our last stand. The trees are significantly closer to the guardhouse. Yeah, but the guardhouse has windows. That are wide open right now, airing the place yeah, out. No. I don't, I don't, I'd rather have a windowless area. All right, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some beer. Sit on the patio, relax. Sit on the patio. We're going to take this tree down first. Once this tree's down, I can do the rest. Let's do just it. just have to get this tree down. Let's do it then. You're right. Uh, according to the plan we just made on the on the spot, we, we know Leonard's up to no good. Or good, I don't even know. He could be the good guy. Or no one could be. Dude. Either either way, muscle might be needed. We're the only good guys. Remember that. You're right. This is why we work well together. All right. I'm going to help him with the tree. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm actually, let me just, 
I'm going to show you, let me know how much help I'm going to be giving you, just for comedy purposes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, my fitness, well, I'm actually average. I was way surprised. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to go look like, uh, you know, <laughs> I thought I was going to say slime. <laughs> you were just going to ride the other end of the saw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm one-handed. It's actually harder for me. Yeah, I'm one-handed. <laughs> but no, my fitness is average. That's right, because I want to be like some agile guy. So, all right. That was okay. okay. So, uh... It- you spend the afternoon sawing. I just need a roll from both of you to make sure no, nothing goes horribly wrong. made a roll today. Five and a three. Five normal, three crit. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> now you keep you jump my other crit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It wasn't a crit. It's a crit. It only matters if it's one or a three. You rolled a three. <sighs> that was close, though. It was really, yes. So you physically, you are able to do it, and it, it, you both work at it. You fell a, a, a giant tree. It's like a like a sizable tree that you're going to need to spend probably well into the evening taking the branches off and stuff with. But you have no. I have to go get an axe. Yeah, I'm gonna go check. There's a wheelbarrow. Yeah, yeah. If you can go grab me the wheelbarrow, I'm gonna go check the stables to see if there's an axe in the stables. We haven't looked in there yet. Is there any uh, horses in the stables that could perhaps help in this? We never looked in the sales of those yeah. animals. You go get the wheelbarrow. I'll go check the stables. Yeah, I'll go get the wheelbarrow. Okay, I'm going to go into the storeroom, grab some beer, hit, hit the patio real quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't care how fast. Well, it I, I mean, it'll I, take me a while. I, I just, I just don't want to trying to think it's weird. Yeah, I'm going to go check the stables. Okay, so the residence is farther away or closer. Let's see who's going to make it first. Well, Dave's it doesn't matter where Dave's going. It doesn't matter where Dave's going. Fuck Dave. No, because he's not coming back. It doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> oh, that sounds ominous. Ever okay? So, so Rob, you head to the stables. You check out the stables, as ya. The stables. So you get inside. It appears to be. That was the loudest beep I've ever heard. Wow. It, like, echoed. Well, it's a message for my son. Not much of and work. Now he's learning. <laughs> he's trying. Even here, the auto quality diminishes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. No. Maybe the, uh, mean to me and or my son. <laughs> Mostly you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Either one. So you enter the, the stables, and it is completely unremarkable. It's empty uh for the most but there's there's hay piles and some you know stuff you could you could explore the the stables if you want but from a, a very cursory it looks like it's just empty. hay burns so that could be a nice kindling is it like wet or is it dry it's been raining the roof is shoddy the, the, the hay you can smell okay, it's so wet stuff but you can explore if you want I guess I'll explore. Just I'm trying to find an axe. I didn't see one anywhere else. Roll 1d12. 1d12? It went high or low? Roll 1d12. Not even a clue. 12. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. If I was rolling for damage with a broadsword, That's those dice are awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, roll high every single time. Yeah, it's a shot. Sh- no, it's not true. I rolled a one the very first roll I made. Shoddy rollsmanship. Okay. Yeah. So you go. Uh, you go to the workshop by way of the patio. Um, so well, yeah. Well, I go to the stores, right? Grab a couple of them beer skis. Uh, the, you'd have to go to the kitchen because you took the only mug that was hanging on the spigot. You were okay. told that there was, there was glassware at the. Uh, um, now that we're back on speaking terms, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it three because I bring him one. Back on speaking terms, there was a fight. You look like a woman. You don't know you're in a fight until it's too late. <laughs> I was cut down a tree. I don't know if you can <laughs> Three days later, you realize we've been having an argument this whole time. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go to the... So uh, you don't know exactly where the courtyard is since you haven't been past the kitchen, but you're guessing that it's those wide-open exterior doors that he saw 
that are, are now open and you can look out. It's the other side, the, the main doors, entrance doors you enter in. It's the other end of the, so you, you just kind of go to the kitchen, you grab a couple mugs. Let's see what, uh, um, yeah, there's plenty of, plenty of, uh, vessels for beverage. Um, so you walk out onto the covered patio. Uh, the covered courtyard runs the length of the west side of the residence. A waist-high stone wall surrounds the area. Thick wooden timbers held securely by the wall hold up the roof. So it's got like a slanted roof off the back of the building. Kind of like a, uh, like a structurally sound awning type situation. Um, the At the north end of the courtyard, there are a number of benches and two tables uh, at which you can see Bertrand uh, uh, sitting. Uh, the further table appears to have items scattered across it. Uh, two more benches are against the east wall where you've come in, and they face out into the into the courtyard, but then look out uh, into the uh, area beyond. And um, in the east wall facing across, uh, in the southern end of the courtyard, against the stone surrounding wall, are some elevated flower boxes. Very nice courtyard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> drop off Mr. Bertrand's beer. Okay. And uh, so on the table are um, he already has a pitcher with beer in it and some clay or some stoneware glasses, plenty of them. You did tell him to go get his own beer and then you went up more beer. And he's just reclining, so there's a, already a picture of beer. You, you, you put down your two beers, and uh, and you can see there's already a, the picture, and he's got a drink. And the two of you exchange. It looks like oh, well, oh, guess, oh, guess we'll have to drink all this beer yeah, now. No, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Remember, we gotta. This gotta last. We gotta we can't drink too this. much. That's right. And he starts packing his pipe again, and the weather. The weather's still kind of on the dark side, but the sun's come out. And you can see out in the courtyard a little bit. Like, you know, this is made to view the outside area. So, so you, what are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit down, and enjoy some sun for a bit. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get him. Try to get him drunk. Maybe that's the only thing I can do. Okay. So uh, the two of you. Cheers. Cheers, yep. And, uh, you start, and it, it, here in the later afternoon, this is, you know, it's, it's a nice time. The beer is tasty. Beer is very tasty. And, uh, you are, uh, trying to build a, cutting off limbs, like tree limbs. You're trying to find an axe so that you can. Oh, yeah, I never got that one. Yep. So you, stable's empty. Well, there's nowhere else to be an axe. There's, one building that you haven't checked. The well. The well. Right? Co- yeah. But why would there be an axe at the well? Mm-hmm. I guess we'll check the well. Okay. Otherwise, this tree's getting burned where it is. <laughs> uh, huddled around a burning tree. It, it sounds paranoid. It sounds crazy. <laughs> Maybe a zombie attack. That might be a, an option, but... Okay. So... Uh, I'm giving up on my plants, slowly but surely. It's a large moss-covered... So did he... You didn't have beer tempting you. No, my plan was to get oil. Uh, that didn't happen. My new plan is for him to murder people. <laughs> <laughs> to, let, to let Greg get angrier and angrier. <laughs> to ta- taunting him exactly. until he just starts laughing exactly. out angrily. Exactly. Slowly yeah. but surely getting there. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so it's a large uh, moss-covered stone building. It appears to be quite old. The oldest of the standing structures, but the roof, however, is intact. Newer uh, cedar shingles. I already told you that. You know what's hilarious? If I had given Matisse that letter, we'd have short poles right now and supplies. <laughs> no, that letter's we're bringing that back. Yeah, the but next group gets the short poles. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, we couldn't shoot a short pole if we tried, anyways. That's true. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> Not me either. He's got two fingers. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, so uh, you, you're entering the building. Sure. Uh, this building is divided into two distinct parts. The southern two thirds of this building, uh, into which, uh, doors lead appears to have 
uh, uh, bin storage. Shelving lines the south and west walls. The east wall contains both empty wine racks and three large kegs. The center of this room is a dark uh, heap of rotting cloth, and the northern part the portion, which amounts to about a third of the building, contains the stone well. So you've got this one side that looks like it's uh, made for um, uh, storing provisions that w- might not be stored in the house for for whatever reason. Um, and you can see the uh, on the other side there, there's the, the well. And it's a stone walled well, complete with the bucket suspended from a winch and rope. Uh, so, and uh, the shelving, the well, everything that looks in reasonably good shape, uh, having been maintained in the recent past, not like a couple years or something. So obviously getting drinking water is important to people. And I'll go check the body in the well. <laughs> body in the well? Oh, it's always okay. a body in the well. Okay. Uh, the partitions, the wall that partitions the building into two rooms is mostly a stone fireplace accessed from either side. So they must need to keep this heated for some reason. Uh, and beside the fireplace in each room is an empty rack for firewood. Um, this b- building was evidently heated in the winter. No axe. So I'm walking by towards the well. No axes. Okay, you're heading towards the well. Uh, uh, the well and all its parts are functional. This is the water. So- this is the water source, still used by the residents. So both Bertrand and Leonard are in here. You can tell it's, it's used all the time. And uh, visitors to the keep to this day. Nobody in the well. You have no light source to look down to the well. <laughs> I'll go back towards the uh, the barrels that were in the other room. Okay. Um, it's dark in here, but uh, the three kegs are each large, oak, and branded across the face. Seared into the wood is an angular heart shape under which the words Stoneheart Brewery are legible. Are they empty or full? You can give them a wrap. They are already tapped and quite a long time ago, you can tell because they're they're just not they're up to empty. snuff, and they are quite empty. And that uh, cloth in the middle of the room. Uh, so you're going to both approach and start rifling through yeah. the cloth. The heap of rotten cloth near the center of the room is comprised of blankets, linen, and clothes. A layer of mold and filth, possibly uh, years old, lays across the top. Disturbing the mound reveals only an unpleasant stench of decay. I don't keep this place very clean. No axe anywhere that I've seen. No, not not what you've explored so far. Well, I've explored the whole area. Yeah, you've checked out the well, you've checked out the cloth, you've checked out the kegs. I'll check out the fireplace, I guess it's the last place. The fireplace. <laughs> he shakes his head. I have to explore these places. That is bullshit. My recommendation was to kill people. What would you rather be doing right now? Anger <laughs> rising. <laughs> okay, rising. But beside the fireplace are um, are racks for firewood. There's both both sides. There are um, uh, empty racks for firewood. Nothing in there. Nothing. Uh, casual gl- gl- glimpse shows you anything. Okay, I'll leave. Okay. I head towards back towards the residence. There was there was a lot of racks and there was wine racks and there was there was lots of shelving and wine racks too. Just as a casual reminder to, as the as you're leaving. As they start to leave, okay, I'll check the racks. I don't think the wine racks are they're empty, weren't they? Um, well I guess I'll check them both. I'll check the racks first. I thought it looked at everything. The shelves are mostly empty. There's, a, there's They show signs of uh, many years of dust and disuse. Um, there are... Um, one shiny axe. <laughs> there is no one. <laughs> no. <laughs> one, one, one shiny axe. But there there are discarded bits of, of uh, crates. Bits of crates? Been opened, you know, a lid here. Uh, they've overturned, and there was stuff with straw. So there's some straw, a crate 
bit with straw. Any names or anything? All on? manner. No. And then the wine racks. Uh, the wine racks. Uh, you examine the wine racks, and it reveals a metal barely visible on the floor inside of the racks. Metal? Like a metal as in just a piece of metal? Something shiny down in there. Okay, well, I'll try to see what it is. Uh, once retrieved uh, and the layer of filth uh, removed from its surface, the item is revealed to be an antique axe. The dark wooden handle of the <laughs> axe is inlaid with silver. <laughs> the inlay is of a family crest. The crest is a shield on which a smith's hammer stands in bold relief. <laughs> I'll hold it over my head like it was the holy grail. Okay. You have what is probably a ceremonial axe, but functional. Like, is it a weapon axe or a tree axe? It was. It is a tree axe, but it was uh, probably used by people. Like, it, it meant something. It was an heirloom of a tree axe. It is. It is. It is designed for, not for combat, but for trees. It is but it has a silver, a slight silver inlay along the handle, like a very delicate. And that leads into a family crest shield with a. Do I think if I to use this in axe, I'd ruin it? No, it would work as an axe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the head's got some some rust on it and stuff. You had to like polish it up, but it looks sturdy. It was it was a woodsman's axe. Okay, I'll take it out. Thank you, gods. And I'll just say to myself, those guys are so lucky. <laughs> Okay, so you are enjoying the company of Bertrand. You're you're enjoying your beverages. Uh, eventually, he he offers you. You give him two cigars. He's offering you one. Going, you got to do this. Like, come on, there'll be dinner time soon. We got we got bellies full of beer. When in uh, when in the keep, do as the keep. This, yes, thank you. Okay, so that, uh, one of these. Enjoy one of these. A waft, and you're you're looking out. To, you, you haven't examined out too far. Like you haven't taken the time to really look at the courtyard ahead of you. You've basically been having this conversation or whatever, and uh, your feet up on the, the waist high wall means you, you really can't. You're you're mostly looking at the two of you are looking at your legs up on a wall and the beer uh, cups on your bellies as you uh, pontificate over. Various bits of history and, 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 you know, the beverages, uh, reaching your head. You get feeling a bit heady, but, uh, in a, in a good way. And back to you, humping an axe across the, uh, year. Sounds pretty good for me. Start chopping up that goddamn tree. Okay. And you start going to town and you're getting, you're getting, uh, some, some sizable wood. Like, within the first couple hours, you've got enough that, like, oh, I could make a small fire. For the night, like if we were to, you know, I, I want enough for a bonfire. Okay, so you start to get a little, little rumbly in the tumbly. Yeah, you you had some breakfast. Everyone had a little stew. Yep, like rabbit stew. And uh, I know time is just of the essence, though. Every okay. second that tr- that light goes down, the tr- the birds are coming. Okay, so you uh, start smashing the. Uh, actually, Bertrand uh, he, he excuses himself. I don't know why. He's usually when he's going to take a leak, he just wanders off to that's <laughs> that end of the courtyard. But uh, then he comes back with some snacks, a little cheese, and some some brittly bread stuff, and a little bit of butter and stuff. He starts putting it down. Such a gracious host. The the, the pitcher is refilled. Can't drink it all. Like uh, this has to last us <laughs> the whole winter. Got to be careful. But how often? Do we get? I I don't uh, I don't. Uh, you, every, look at me. You've earned this. Every, every maybe six weeks, a month, six weeks. Some of you guys come through here, and sometimes they're near to wells, and I have to be careful around. I just hold myself up in the keep after I meet them. No, this is this is a delight. Have any of us seen Leonard? Cheers. No. <laughs> Click. And in the distance, you, you, the, the, your glasses tinking together is punctuated by the continual chunk, 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 chunk of axe blows. 
Well, the world needs ditch diggers, too. <laughs> Okay, so now it's starting like that. The sun's getting a little low. You've got a considerable pile of wood. Um, that wheelbarrow's making it to you any second now, obviously. The um, wheelbarrow. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to need a fitness roll from you. Goat cheese? It is. It is it's goat delicious. cheese. Let's see if he gets. Do I got to roll both? Yep. Pass out. Please fail. <laughs> the birds will pick you clean up on that balcony. Uh, 12. 12. <laughs> 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 My fitness is average. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My plan to get him drunk is working. Oh. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, at some point, uh, you're like, I, I, I gotta get this fucking wheelbarrow. And then as you start heading to the workshop, these two are staggering back towards the guardhouse. They are knackered. <laughs> they're, they're like Dickard was like at around three o'clock in the afternoon when you saw them uh, the first time. Now, now they're 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 chums. They're, hey, Gray, we got you some beer uh, over there. Was they've they've uh, Bertrand has the pitcher sloshing beers as he's he's brought that to the uh, he's taken that to the guardhouse. Um, uh, this one here is still. Uh, Still got his cup in his hand. I'll just mentally note this all <laughs> and go get the wheelbarrow. Okay. So you go in, you get the wheelbarrow. When the birds attack, I know who to save. <laughs> the guy who's been truthful and honest with you the entire time. That's right, that Leonard guy, because he's the only one I need. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm drunk, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, start trying to lug all the wood out in front of the uh, the uh, residence. Okay, so you're lugging wood over to the residence and building a pyre as I do it. Okay, so you've, you're making some trips, building a sizable bit of wood, and uh, the sun has started to to set. Have I heard any birds yet? Between the axe falls and the. Uh, Revelry, uh, you have not heard anything. Okay. I'm just going to keep trying to do my work, get it done, and then layer up when I get it done. Okay. It should burn all night. That's a lot of wood. Keep us alive. No, I'm keeping me and Leonard alive. You guys will be in the guardhouse getting eaten. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna pass out and they're laughing. I swear it just makes me dizzy. It's weird. Um, okay. Ooh, uh, darkness falls, and so does the temperature. A peal of thunder can be heard in the distance. Soon there is a great commotion on the roof of the uh, residence, <laughs> of which you're standing outside. Yep. Have I lit the fire yet or no? Uh, you do have the ability to light the fire. Kindling's a problem. You're you're you're. And I'll gra- grab some of that scrap wood from the work. Okay, you workshop. You make a run to the work workshop, carrying some some of the hay, some of the scrap wood. You're cracking it under there. Um, All he hears is "fuck you, birds," <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting there with your feet up on the sill. Well, you, you know, oh Jesus! What? How long has that cheese been? So I, you had you there's some cheese still stuck to your shirt, probably from the, your snack. It, yeah, probably a, like a, an old cheddar. Like it, it, it Let's looks find like. Find out. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bertrand. Oh yeah. Well, he's not wanting that. It's got to last us all. <laughs> yeah. Feet up on you, just looking over the the. Uh, the horizon at the, the tree line. Why is the tree line moving? <laughs> it's all goddamn birds. Wow. Uh, if only someone could remind us. <laughs> so you've returned. You, you Now you're, you've got your, your stone and your flint and your steel. And you're, you're starting a little, a little fire, starting to spread. <clears throat> now, it, the fire started. You're quite a ways away from the residence, but close enough that you'll provide some. 
light. Okay, and now a number of avian creatures have landed on the peak of the of the um, guardhouse. You can see it. They yeah, you go over there. Eat those guys. Let's <laughs> make sure the fire keeps going, and then uh, <laughs> you're standing by the fire, and it yep. looks like it's keeping them at bay. Sword out. Shink. Just wait. Actually, before I do that, I'll uh, go into the kitchen, and grab a bite to eat. Just grab something. That kitchen there has food too, right? Yeah. Kitchen residence. In the residence. I'll just grab some bread and something. And just doors are locked. The residence doors are locked. Yes. I was just in there for the workshop. Yeah. Who locked them? Your buddy Leonard. I'll knock on the door. What are the doors made of? Pretty thick wood. I'll walk over to the to the guardhouse. Okay, you head over to the guardhouse, and you can see now there's there's these sturges have, and they're eyeballing you. If, if you don't want to dawdle, and I give them the finger as they rush towards the uh, guardhouse. Okay, just one uh, one athletics check. I just want to see what your fitness. Uh... Uh, six and a three. Okay, you sprint in. Three was my rule. Well, luckily enough, the door is still wide open. Like, they, they didn't even close the door behind them. So you just... <laughs> you're into the guardhouse. I'll shut the door behind me. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, there's thousands of birds out there. Plus, Leonard locked the residence door, so I can't get in there. Oh, uh, if we got any beer left? It was brewed, too. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm drunk at this point. And I can't, don't, you, you are both. I, I don't really, you said I was beyond that. Na- so I was knackered, right? Yeah, yeah. You, so, you, so I didn't want to be like, oh, shut the door, windows and stuff. Like, I'm, you, I'm probably you, out of my... basically mind. crit rolled a... Uh, to, 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 to be able to... to yeah, a sobriety function. check. Yeah, you, 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 the roadside sobriety check has... Yeah. has so that's what I thought. So. I'll shut the shutters, too. Okay. The, the, you kind of push the legs out of the way. And you... <laughs> well, there goes that old plan. I'm going to be killed by birds in this goddamn place instead of in the safety of the residence. Sturges. <laughs> I, I'll ask Bertrand, do you have a key to the residence? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> They're going to be funny. <laughs> does he have a key to the residence? Uh, yes, he does. Can I have it? Uh, certainly. Thank you. Um... So we may have to make our escape. Back there. <clears throat> There's a huge commotion on the roof now. You hear that? And outside the windows, a number of shapes through, through, the, through the shutter. Shut the windows. I did already. Did we? <laughs> wow. Good, good, so a good job. Well, I hope you hear your death right now. <laughs> Every time I laugh, I swear to God, I almost block out. Jolly good job, he says. That's your death out there. Sober up or die. So across the, between the, the, the tiny minutes we all had a role to play... You can see shapes. And you can hear it. Perhaps you should just use some of your time wizardry to uh, wizardry out of this time. (laughs) That is not how it works, and you know that. I told you earlier how it works. I told you. You told me earlier. I told him. He told me earlier. We were sharing cigars. I'm just picturing my sword going through his neck. <laughs> he's, he's he's not as bad as Dave. Dave is or Asterius is is in in worse shape, but he's not that far behind. Do you understand that the birds are out there? I I understand. I've been here, living here for five years. Uh, we've had a couple. Uh, this night we. Just, I'll open the shutters and show them how many are out there. We just lock the doors. That's but Leonard was probably like we just lock the doors. Make sure that you, as he's talking, the, the opens up and the skyline. There is a cloud, without exaggeration, of a cloud of. These. Oh, I understand the severity of it. <laughs> Do these assholes understand the severity of it now? Let's build a bonfire. They're scared of fire. Yeah, is my bonfire still burning outside? Uh, one sturge per character uh, launches themselves into the building through the open window. You deserve that. So, two sturges, they're, they are out in the, in the darkness now, in the sun, setting sun, and they see the door the door open. You can like, oh, look at all those. And they... I wasn't. I was just holding the door open and 
let them detect. Then I'll shut it the moment those two come in. <laughs> okay, so they, they just to prove the threat. Come in and close the door. Um, they don't get a surprise attack because they have to come right into your. So they broke right through the window. You go first and you're closing the door. Yeah, you just shut the door behind them. Okay, told you. Uh, you go next. Dave go. Asterius goes next. These two birds have whoosh, flew flew past you. Are inside the room. Mm. I will draw my sword and attempt to kill them. Shink. Okay, so you stand up off the the bed that was pos- positioned there, uh, and you make your way towards the birds. This you drew your sword. You're making some movement, so you're you're head into combat with your sword. Uh, Bertrand, uh, he's like, ah, oh, whoa, he's getting, he's moving away from them, uh, obviously, he, he, he's seen them before, he's not, t- like, t- terrified out of his mind, but he didn't really register at the speed at which they came in and the fact that they got in that fast, so his, his reaction times are way, so it is bird time. It's bird time. So, Dave, Asterius, you're, you're menacing this bird. Now, these are not the smaller juveniles that you'd fought earlier. These ones look a little bit bigger. And it puffs up its plumage and it squawks at you. And its big bat wings start. And right onto your chest. Latches onto your, latches onto your arms with its... Uh, with with its claws <laughs> and shoo, right into your chest. Oh. With a, now, do you have armor on your chest? <clears throat> I believe uh, I'm. Hold up. You tell me. I have on my person height. Okay, so what's the protection value of the or the absorption value? Where would that be? Under armor. Under armor. Under armor, I have hides, and then I have no pro abs or vocation. Oh, okay. I'll look it up. Thank you. I'll look it up. Jeez, you're so behind the times. I'll look it up. Let's see what these hides can do for you. Weapons. Hide armor, protection two, absorption twenty. <clears throat> protection two, absorption twenty. But your absorption is now going to be eighteen. Okay. Do I do I erase it and put eighteen or? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so it pierces your hide armors, uh, and you take one point of damage, but your hides protect against two of it. So this thing's. And point of damage is is what physical rating? Yep. Okay, so now I'm down to eleven. So you see this thing? Only did one point of damage because of the armor. Hit his chest. Hit the armor. Hit his armor. Uh, so the second bird is going to attack. Okay, Bertrand. Like, oh, 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 dear. And one of the birds right right past him, and it knocks his staff out of his hand, and he's like, whoa, whoa. And then now it's, uh, he was surprised, so it's your turn. Okay, I'll just stand by the door and watch them. Cross my arms. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, drunk guys. What are you doing? I'm going to teach you a lesson. Stereos, you, you, you... What are you doing? Uh, well, I, I watched him hack a bird off his leg. So I think that I will uh, hack a bird off my chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, roll. Uh, try and get under your combat. Well, that should be combat. Yep. The lower the better. Lower Where's the combat? It's third one. Oh, combat. Okay. Yeah. No, no problem. How how good are you at combat? Mm, feeble. Okay. So let's see. Crit. I should just use luck. <laughs> Fall on him. <laughs> yeah, like... 
two and a five. A two? That's not yeah. bad. No, that's not bad. Uh, that is that is enough. You hit. Wow. Nice. Oh, well, actually, no, because he's got latch ability. Latch the shifts it. Okay, so you. Uh, uh, I didn't cut my own head off. That is a success. Uh, uh, okay. Now uh, it is the one that's attached to you. It's his his go. So he does not need to roll to hit. So he does three points of damage to you. Does the armor take any more, or is this no, right through? It's, right it's still stuck in there. He's latched on you, and now you can see through, uh, it's there's a sucking sound. And they say they drink blood. Redness is, is kind of seeping into the corners of its mouth, and its eyes are it's the eyes are looking right in yours, a little wild with like oh yeah, and you can see it. <laughs> the second one that attacked Bertrand, I think he still sees Bertrand as a uh, as a target. Ooh, crit miss, <laughs> crit miss. So <laughs> flies around, and now Bertrand's got his uh, his uh, wits ab- about about him, and he just starts he just starts pointing at the general direction, and you see what this this big plume of 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 iridescent we've never seen magic before, iridescent light is coming off of his hand, and he just he points. And through it, you can see what looks like an hourglass being turned or possibly a sundial over here, but you can't really see. And the, the sturge that is, is flying around the room, you can see it's as it banks down its side, these gray feathers have appeared. And it. We've never seen magic before, right? Uh, where you're from, occasionally, you know it exists. It's It's a thing. He's, if he's from a more magical area. Yeah, th- this is not commonplace, but it's it, you've seen it before. Combat magic's like the the lowest form. You're basically just using part of you to to damage. So then it's your turn. Now draw my sword and attack the one on his chest. Oh, bit my other fingers. <laughs> okay, so you you very quickly. Sh- I think he's learned his lesson, and you're close enough that you can make. You don't have to cover any distance. You can uh, you can draw. Come on, double twelves. I don't know why you want me to die. <laughs> double twelves. This is, this is what it's five. Double fives. This double fives, and uh, your combat is uh, fighter. Um, yes. So you you strike a blow to the. And I, I think my weapon's four. Four? Yeah. Okay, still alive, but uh, you, you spear into its, into its back, and it you can tell it. To, and now, uh, the first one you, you hit, you didn't really notice, but now a red blood, bright red blood, comes up the back. Fresh, like... It's like when you kill a, a mosquito, all of a sudden the blood shoots all over. Kind of. Well, this is graphic. Okay, and then uh, it is your turn. Asterius. Grapple him. That yeah. always works. Well, yeah, that have worked. <laughs> Put your hands in front of my yeah, I get my hands anywhere near it, yeah. Um, I'll try to get my hands in between him and my in my chest and push him away. Okay, so you, you've got a sword in one hand. So I'll just drop it. Okay, and you grab onto its face uh, and you yeah. start pushing away. And your your own blood is, is s- slick on your hands because it's, it's been feeding and... And uh, I could guess make a combat roll to see if you can wrestle it off. Is that what you're trying to do? Or agility, mm-hmm. fitness, strength, luck, anything, but whatever Jack says. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to like pry it off me. I guess. Okay, that's a fitness. That's a, just a pure strength. You're you're fighting against mm-hmm. its claws and its. Uh, uh, I'm your... useless at attacking, and I'm, I'm killing myself. So, okay. Uh, seven hit, but one crit. One? Okay. Wow. And as you... There's two sounds going on. One, the sound of the, the proboscis beak-like thing leaving your chest. But also, as you're pushing away, you're pushing it onto Gray's sword. So, it it's being pushed onto the sword and away. Its neck is being flexed back, and you don't know how you're sh- with your limited strength, but all of a sudden, and it, it, it dies in your hands. You strangled him. 
See, you thought I wasn't learning anything. I am. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Good. See, I'm back in the club. Okay, so uh, I've killed one of your mortal enemies. The one, the one that you it, eh, the one that was injured is swinging around. It's uh, it's got three targets. It's trapped in here with, and it knows it just can't. So, so it's it's banking in on you. It's gonna on uh, gray. It's gonna try and make for a nice back attack. Oof! <laughs> it is a wide, a wide arc. And Bertrand is still falling with his hand, and all of a sudden, you see the this, the, the luminescent uh, cloud with the, the various shapes kind of in, inside of it, and then the, the bird on the ground. Died of old age. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can tell it's it's got a a, a very uh, withered and old appearance, and it. Hits the ground and its legs are just kind of. Yeah. I'll yeah. kick it as hard as I can. Okay. Whap. It skitters across the floor and comes to rest beside that the, the the makeshift trap door lid thing. Just fucking birds. Well, Bertrand, do you know where that trap door goes? Uh, I know the history of it, but I've never been down there. Where does it go? This was uh, the guardhouse has a trap door that goes to one of the outbuildings. So should they need to be, uh, if they were trapped inside the tower, the family could make an escape to the front gate. So they could, if under siege, they would be able to, under the cover of darkness, sneak out the front gate. Only, it's only out? There's, it doesn't go to another building? It goes to another building. I just don't know which. And I, that, that's only the history that I, that I was able to glean. Well, I have a feeling this building's not going to last long against that bird attack out there. Do we hear, like, birds hitting the windows and shed and sh- shutters and stuff? No, not yet. Might work here. Yeah. But it seems the ones you invited in uh, were... I've learned, I've learned my lesson. I hope so. I hope that that bird sucked out the alcohol from your bloodstream. <laughs> That's the alcohol. The bird would have died anyways because it was no blood it was getting. It was just pure alcohol. Um, uh, can I peek out the crack? Uh, you can see movement out <coughs> in, in the darkness. Can I see my fire still going? Uh, the window doesn't. The big that window doesn't. That but the door does. You could try Found and that opening door. Okay. Well, I guess we sit here until it becomes untenable, and then we hit. The- the passage. I think that's the only choice. Grab the lanterns. Get them ready to take with us. Good idea. I'll grab the lanterns. <laughs> Is there coffee in this place? I was going to grab the beer. Coffee? Or any kind of stimulant to wake these fuckers up? Well, I did get sacked by a bird. I'm pretty stimulated, I think. Is it all- <laughs> Their adrenaline's doing it for them? Uh, they're both more alert. The, 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 the fear of the situation has brought a certain alertness. But their physical state is still of inebriation. They're still going to be hampered to a degree. Like, if he hadn't rolled perfect on that, he was not going to be able to wrestle a bird off of him. He was going to be suffering the damage mm-hmm. again. You got lucky. I did, and I got, you got lucky, kid. Don't get cocky, kid. That's right. Okay, I'll just uh, have my sword out, waiting for the inevitable bird. Get thrust through the window. I say, tell them both, get prepared to go down that tunnel, because that's where we're going to go if these birds get in. We won't be able to kill them all. I'll take my sword back home, whatever he's shooting it, I guess. Okay. I don't want to lose it. And I'll take a... I'll take a... Uh, what? Is there a penalty for fighting two-handed? Or is it just not possible? It is possible. I can look it up. Give me your sword. It doesn't help you much. I'll take his other sword. I'll keep that one in the sheath, though, and I'll have the window in my hand so I can draw it if I have to. I won't have her hand free. So, combat, attack with two weapons, four, four, three. Look at him. He's got, like, all these charts and subcharts. And... Attack with two weapons. Attacking with two weapons is a difficult but flamboyant fighting style available to any character with a combat attribute of fighter or better. So you know, during your, your training, someone must have thrown you to second. Uh, here you go. Here's a second uh, practice sword. Let's see what you can do against uh, Jimmy the Snitch over there. 
Uh, <laughs> the character can attack uh, with a weapon in each hand. These weapons can be of any combination as long as both are held in a single hand. So both are yep. short swords, both can be held. Uh, thus, the character can carry a heavy pistol, a light pistol, a pair of knives, two swords, or even two heavy pistols. Obviously, pencil, yeah. obviously but this refers to all of the different things in this uh, system. Uh, we know there's pencils in this, or pistols in this game. Uh, the character suffer, suffers a one shift penalty to uh, the weapon in their primary hand and a two shift to their off hand. So you fight worse, you fight m- more poorly with your good hand, and, and even more worse poorly with, with your off hand. Okay. So, I so you fight much more poorly than I do already. So, I still be swinging two things. Yeah, I got so double the chance. So you build up chopping some. <laughs> Double a chance of I kept one, I'll put the one Dave, I'll sheet that one, I'll just have the one for now, just so I have a hand open. I'll just be carrying my other one. And I'll uh, make sure the lamps are ready to go, that they have oil. If they don't, I have oil to put in them. And you're positioning them all around the trap door. Yep, that's all Bertrand just sit near the trap door, so that, although he's pretty capable, he did kill one himself, but just to say, hey, if, if this door and shutter fail, and I'll try to put a chair up against it. Does it have a thing I can put the chair up against it to pry the door? The door? Yeah. Like the handle, you know, you put the chair yeah, up against the handle. There's some I'll do that in the door. And the whole bed frames up against yeah. there. Or... I don't know what we can do against the window. but Bed frames for it up there? Yeah, or the table maybe. We'll, we'll lean uh, some furniture up against yeah. the window. Just... And we'll hopefully live through the night. I knew this was coming. Damn birds. And if we do live through the night, it'll almost be like, here we're dropping was for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't make me laugh. I swear to God, I'm going to pass out when I laugh. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the rain is steady, and the guardhouse is cold and damp. Hold the rain. They probably put it away for Yeah, probably. Uh, multiple leaks in the roof have been re- have revealed themselves in the forms of steady drips. The roof. The roof. The roof is on birds. Um, the night is only half over, and you're already draining the dark hours uh, ahead of you. Uh, overhead, a number of surges clamor along the building's peak. Suddenly, a commotion causes you all to look towards the west wall. Just above the door, a hole has appeared in the roof. Two, uh, three small surges wriggle their way into the guardhouse. Others, too big to fit through the hole, begin to claw and tear at the opening. So the, the Breach into the uh, interior through the roof. You can hear they're clawing and scrabbling, and uh, three of small ones, like about the same size you you fought earlier. The first ones, they squeeze their way in, and as they land on the ground, you can see much bigger birds are now like their faces. You can see them trying to pry their beaks in, and like wild eyes surveying the area. Okay. So, uh, Rob, what are you going to do? Or Gray, what are you going to do? Three juvenile birds have landed, plopped down onto the... I'll draw my second sword and and move in between them. Like, I probably can't attack. They're across the room, right? Yeah. But so you, I'm going to move in between them and these guys. So you close some distance, you get in there, and you're... Shh. Dave, what are you doing? I'm going to light the lanterns and prepare myself to to get down that hole. Okay. And everyone else. <laughs> and shut the door behind me. No, right. I'm just saying... I'm not, Never. I'm going to get the lanterns lit, and we're going to we just have to hope that the water down there is not, like, over our heads. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, and uh, so the Sturges. There's three of them. The first one, he's squaring you up, Rob. He's, he sees you squaring up. Oh, he's, yeah, he's that makes sense. I'm in between them. He's like, oh, God, I, I need a piece of that. I do have a sweet ass. Crit again. You fail on your attack almost every attack. Like you, you, you fail spectacularly. <laughs> so it, uh, he, 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 he fails spectacularly. He just <laughs> towards you, and he's he's emboldened. You can tell he's young and doesn't have a uh, doesn't have. Um, uh, he's his prey has probably been like uh, woodland creatures that he's got in the cover of darkness, not in a semi lit area, and he misjudges completely and whew, over. Over your shoulder. Uh, they always go over my shoulder. Never go between my legs. <sighs> okay, Bertrand. Uh, Bert, Bertrand, who is you know kind of just assessing the situation, he's 
startled as one of the uh, the surges come. And it starts grabbing, it gets caught up in his robes, and the two of them are t- having a tussle with the, the oh, cloth he's got tussle. robes and the and the he's got the, the, the staff out. And Speaking. you again. Not as not as bad as last time, but still. No. You can, you're uh you're able to like juke out of the way as it so the one went over your right shoulder, this one was going towards your abdomen and he just, just, just barely misses as you kind of skirt to the side, and now, uh, now it's your turn. I'm gonna attack with both swords. You'll let me know. I'm a fighter, so I don't know what I have to roll. Or you, you said it reduces it by one, and then it reduces it by two. two. Is it two rolls? Like one roll for one hand. One roll for your primary hand at the penalty. That uh... so there's still one in front of me. Or are they both yes, fly Yes, one's right in front of you. Yeah, okay. I'll take the one in front of me. First one is the my good hand. Yeah. 12 of 12. <laughs> <laughs> 12 and 12. You don't have a good hand anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I smacked the other sword out of my hand. <laughs> you, you, you make your attack, and that soft spot in the floor has been there. Where- <laughs> sure. <laughs> It, the sword goes down into the into the wood quite deep, and it, it is it is it is lodged. It is lodged, and you you got your offhand now. Can I still attack with my offhand? Yeah, I'm not using. You, you, Do I pretty much use that sword, short sword pretty much then? Well, we'll, we'll see. What, okay, uh, I'll leave it on my sheet for now. <laughs> this is twice as bad. That I'm was so, the, that was the good way. I'm so glad I'm nowhere near. Oh my god! Yeah, you're lucky you're across. Yeah. Wow! I'll be like yeah. <laughs> Dave's head. <laughs> you spin with your off hand. Twelve and eleven, <laughs> and you just hear you just hear two things of glass shatter. <laughs> I just <laughs> broke the fucking. <laughs> The, the 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 guardhouse illuminates spectacularly. <laughs> Woof, as flaming oil sprays on the What's bedding. The fucking chance on the, the the walls on the. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't right. so ridiculous, we're gonna die in this place because they rolled that. You're standing there and. <laughs> They're, they're, they were internal lanterns, so they had like instead of uh, steel shrouds and stuff, they were all mostly uh-huh. glass. And and you're holding the top ha- halves of these two lanterns. At your feet is burning oil, <laughs> glass, um, and just just. Are you freaking kidding me? Chaos. <laughs> Why? What do you hate lanterns for? <laughs> Birds are enemies. Dice. <laughs> That's oh my ridiculous. god! Okay, well I'm out. <laughs> you can trap the fucking bomb down the hole. Okay. You, 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 Drown or burn? You have you have these two. You have these two lantern bits. Yeah. You just drop them. So you just well, they're, they're, there's there's nothing I can do with them, right? No, it's a handle with right, the yeah. top of a hood and maybe a. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. Then you you boot open the the door. Yes, yeah, yeah. There goes my careful plan of seeing what's down there and being prepared. And I'm just like I'm gonna. Uh, Whatever, I'm going to uh, get down there. Okay. I'm spry and well, agile, so I'll, so I'll look for handholds, oh, but I'll, oh my God, I can drop that down and yeah. Oh, it, see what's I laugh because I don't want to cry. The one, the one that's in front of Rob. What oh. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> These dice are terrible. I think for thank God he just killed himself, but <laughs> yeah, well he, he he charges in, hits the sword in the ground. <laughs> the sword in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he literally goes. <laughs> Up so, on it, <laughs> so 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 like crazed in hunger, he just doesn't see, and, and in confusion, and he ends up disemboweling himself on the sword. Oh His my body God. comes to rest on your hand. Your, your hand is kind of inside the the carcass of, and it's looking up with, with you, its dying eyes, like the uh, one in the, the one of the two that was in the background uh, is swinging in on Bertrand. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. oh, ouch! It went the other way. <laughs> you just, you, you, like, you're like, oh, what the fuck? And you hear a commotion in the background, and Bertrand is stumbling forward, like, oh, oh, and you're like, what the hell is going on? And you see a, like, a beak from 
coming from, from his back. From the back, yeah. Out the front. And it, you can just hear the... <laughs> and he's just like... Uh, stumbling forward. And the last one... There's three people. You're crouched. I'm going to put between you and Bertrand. Me? So, Bertrand. Oh, other way. <laughs> oh, yeah, crit the other way. That is kind of cocked, though. No. Okay, so the, it smashes into to, to Bertrand's front at this point. It, it He stumbles forward. The, the second one smashes into his front, bounces off, and hits the ground. But Bertrand now is like, stumble, 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 stumble. Um, now it is uh, his turn, and he basically just f- f- flops over beside the, uh, he's clawing towards the hatch in the floor. He's, he's now just like, ah, trying to, trying to get away from this, this cr- creature that's sucking on his vital organs. So it is, uh, it's Gray's turn. And the one sword stuck in the floor? Yes. Okay. Well, I- you can try and uh, extra. No, I, I'm going to leave the one sword, and I'm going to because I still have the one in my left hand. I'll sw- I'll uh, keep it in my left hand because I want to grab on the way by. As I run by, I'm going to grab Bertrand and drag him towards the uh, hatch too, because he's already going down it, right? Uh, he's he's crouched at one end. Bertrand's crawling crawling towards the other. So, but I'm being between Bertrand's and, between me and the hole. Yes, so you so can. I'm going to try to grab him as I run you by. Grab him and uh, the couple feet. The. Uh, <clears throat> You're dragging him and the bird latched onto him yep. towards we'll the to, hole. We'll deal with that once we get in the hole. <laughs> it's your turn. Yep, so I was also going to grab Bertrand, so I'm going to get in the hole and then also so that we can get Lower Bertrand down without just in. dropping him, if possible. Or if not, then I'll drop down and, and hopefully I'll be able to get Bertrand. But anyway, I'm going to get down the hole with an eye of let's also help Bertrand. Okay, there which is also a, then helps Greg. There is a ladder, and you start climbing halfway yeah, yeah, down, halfway down, and, and I'll start dragging him yeah. over the uh, drag him over the edge. Mm-hmm. It is now the sturge, the one sturge. Uh, he just starts feeding. <laughs> it's got these powerful muscles that he, like you can see, it's just sucking the the, the, the vital juices out of Bertrand. Um, the two up top, um, the two up top. One died. Um, what? Yeah. One's in Bertrand, one died, and then there's one left. So there's one more left. Plus the one's coming in the hole. He's going to attack you because you're basically the, the only one left. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, he misses. He, he I'm pretty good at not getting a hit. Lands but beside I'm terrible you. at hitting. <laughs> he kind of lands on I got to get some heavy armor and just be a tank. Green yeah. cloak, and, and it, it starts. You can see the, the beak shooting through the cloak. It can't see exactly where you are in behind well, his no. fabric, and he's... Plus there's fire behind him. And, and the, the fire is spreading. The fire is... is That's good. That'll cover our escape, at least. It's not it's not a roaring <laughs> inferno yet, but the, the wooden floor is kind of dry. The oil got uh, sprayed in different locations. It's... It's, it's, it's not going to be good. It, eventually, it's not... It may or may not... The, the next wardens that come are going to have a hell of a mess to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to spend a couple extra days here. Uh, I know where the beer is. Do we have all our packs and stuff with us, or is it still just laying around? Yeah, he, he, that, that that stuff's all just laying okay. around. It's not even packed up. Uh, I, I see your bed rolls and stuff would still be out. You you would have um, at least our backpacks in our a uh, backpack, perhaps arguably your camping supplies. You wouldn't have needed because you're so not you're camping sleeping. and. I'm going to, uh, it's my turn again? Uh, it is your turn again. And I'll push Bertrand down the hole with him. Okay. And then I'm going to go back for our packs. Grab at least Dave's, and Dave's pack's most important, because you've got, you've got letter and stuff in there. We need that stuff. So, I need you to make a fitness check. Okay. You had uh, a grown man pushed down the hole on yep. top of you, basically. You're so afraid to roll the dice now. Eight and a six. six. Okay, so my fitness is average. You you push Bertrand and he's trying to supply, but Bertrand, the Sturge, all just go past. Splash! Water. At least it's water down there. Dirty water <laughs> comes poof, up all up, up your back, and uh, both of them kind of sink into the water. 
I'll drop. Well, when is my turn? Uh, yeah, it's your turn. I'll drop. I'll drop into the water to then grab Bertrand. Okay, you jump down. It's higher than waist height water. Higher than waist height. Jesus. That might be alright though, because the birds are. They're not likely to come down here. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it's quite a distance. Like because the ladder is. Uh, just exposed between the floor and where the water is is probably two man length of two, two people, and then there's whatever is down below. You've jumped down that the water cushions your fall. Um, <laughs> sword, short sword. Okay. <laughs> we'll get another one, hopefully. I got a whip. Yeah, and it's maybe could be burning. No, I assume the whip would still be. I want your pack especially just because it's uh Yeah. So we're gonna lose the blanket. So uh yeah. So you you jump down, you grab a hold of Bertrand, the uh it's the sturge, the sturge is and Bertrand's eyes are starting to uh, uh, roll back in his no. head and he's it's looking kinda of sallow, kinda of, kinda of pale. It's still my hair? Uh, yeah, you, jump is just a movement, so yeah, you can. Okay, I will. Uh, in the the bird is on his chest, on his back. It's on his back. Can the bird be underwater? That's what I'm trying to get. The bird underwater, his head above water, and then I'm going to try to drown the bird. A bit. Yeah, but also, also at the same time, pry the bird from uh, Bertrand. So ideally, it'd be like Bertrand being one hand, you know, his back towards the water. Bird being in it, and then roll a fifty percent chance he fell face forward, or his back may be under the water, or you might, you, yes, you might have to wrestle. So him lower good or higher good? I, I I think since you want him to be on his back, so the bird's underwater already, or else you're gonna have to like do some feats. So yeah, like under six or under, or it's good. You want I, to do this one? No, because I roll higher. Yes. Three. Okay, so he did. He landed whoosh, on his back. So the, the sturge is underwater. So instead of having to like lift a man and, and stuff, <laughs> flip him over. All, all, all you're actually trying to do is now hold the bird under <laughs> under the water. You're just trying to push him off. Yeah. Um. I'll. I'll you drop down. You're doing that. That's two things. That I, I think we'll have to leave that. That. Uh, the bird the sucks. Uh, Bertrand now. He's, he's unconscious. That's all you know. The two, the two surges up top have reached the. Uh, no, it's only one surge. One's oh, dead. Yeah, the one at the up top has is. You can see it looking down. On the well, I'm still up there though. It's it's, it's <laughs> looking around. It, now you're in between. It's now, in between me and the hole now. <laughs> There's there's the hole. There's you, and there's the surge like right to your side, and it's. You're, like I said, your cloak was between the two of you, and it attacked your cloak a couple times. Now it's toying with the thought. There's there's uh, a slick of blood in the down area, and it's kind of like you could smell the blood. Yeah, yeah, and it's it, every part of its instinct is just dive down that hole and get some of that sweet, sweet red goodness. I'm gonna try to grab both of our backpacks and then. We'll see, because that was all I could do, probably. Okay, so you, you you leave the hole and you run and grab the two backpacks, mm-hmm. dodging the fire as it burns. <laughs> yeah, then now it, I won't say that it'll engulf the cabin, but there's certainly fire here, and for the sake of safety, you you've made this choice to. Okay, so you've you've got you, it's a distance. You, you run and grab there. You run and grab here. It's, uh, it is your turn. My turn? Okay, so I'm going to uh, attempt to help Bertrand by getting this bird off him. Okay, you can uh, roll against your combat uh, to... Combat? Or what was it before? Fitness? That was on yourself. <laughs> yeah, on yourself. You were basically doing a bench press to get this thing off. <laughs> <clears throat> you're kind of wailing on him now. Roll really low. Two ones. We haven't rolled two ones yet. I rolled two twelves. Right. Twice in a row. It's the not even... It's the not look roll. Nice. Two. Two and a four. Okay, so you're... Because okay. you, you're not combat. being grappled, so Pry, you're, you're prying, fine. Prying stuff off of birds might be my thing. 
Uh, <laughs> or praying for it's off of people. Yep. If, if it, this had been like a ranged attack or something, you wouldn't have hit, but you're just grappling. So you... It, 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 it's latched on, which gives you a penalty that you, you wouldn't have been able to do it, but it is also underwater, and it is now, you can see there are bubbles coming up. It is an air-breathing creature, so so between those two things, you're able just to stop it from from uh, murdering Bertrand more. But you haven't really hurt the bird. You, you got him off him, though, at least? Yeah. You've, you've, you've a little bit of his sucking emotions off, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you've just dislodged the beak a little bit from the... Um, then... That bird is going to try and escape you. What is Underwater. It was sent me a second ago. Did you order? Combat. I made four. Hmm? Good. Six. Yeah, so it did put the beak towards you. And you. You got it in his hand. Bertrand's... You're holding Bertrand... Above the water with one hand and it with the other, and it is its beak is like so it's got its head turned and it's trying to like get at my arm or whatever. Yeah, it's can just you, trying to ever can thrash at. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, one up top is is now it's made its decision and it dives down through the hole. <laughs> it it's heading right towards Bertrand's chest where there's just this delicious, delicious, almost like a um, like an appetizer. You know, Bertrand dead. <laughs> Appetizer platter of, of sweet, sweet, sweet blood is roll two twelves. Roll two. T- it'll roll two points this time. Oh, twelve. Yep. Yeah. At least it didn't crit it. Splash! It hits the water beside him. <laughs> Those dice have been bad today. The water. They've been fun. The stinky water <laughs> for me. splashes all over the place. And uh, now it's uh, it's Bertrand's it. turn. Oh yeah, Bertrand. He'll he'll float. Is it the current? He's not. He's not. Uh, not looking good. It's my turn, right? Bertrand's floating dead, mm-hmm. and I just saw the bird go down the hole. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Just run and jump down the hole. Okay, it's a. I'm gonna need you to do an agility. Okay, I'm spry. It doesn't matter what I roll. <laughs> it can be perfect in two twelve. <laughs> How many rolls have I got in a twelve? <laughs> And that is a critical fail, you know. More than one out of twelve, I'll tell you that. Okay. More than I think every time I fucking rolled, it's either been a You run with the packs, you jump down, the the packs just don't make it into the hole. The, the they go shooting up, and you just kind of pirouette down, boof. The at least packs fall down the hole with me? Uh I I, I I'm gonna say that obviously you're injured. You just fell. Yeah, that's fine. I just want the packs. I don't care if I'm injured. Okay, so let's see. Red's the uh, possible injury, and the packs are the the uh, smoky colored one. Two and twelve. So y- you hit the water, splash, and you're all like, "What the?" You're not injured, but the packs did not make it down. In fact, they flew. As, when you went down, you kind of, and you could <laughs> one kind of pirouetted towards the window, the other pirouetted out towards the uh, the fireplace. When this entire thing started, I was drunk and the f up. <laughs> Look at you, sober, just, just that like, drunk. I, I might just stay in the water. water. You know, <laughs> you know had you been some sort of acrobat, or perhaps you might have been able to do it, but uh, clearly. Uh, so now it's your turn. This this great heaping sh- form has splashed down behind you. Hey, maybe he landed on the uh, on the bird down. There. <laughs> no, the bird probably his beak was probably up and went up my ass. So I'm still okay. Oh my god, this is all chaotic right now. So I'm still you're holding on to a bird. Yeah, I'm holding on to a bird, and he's still underwater. So I'm still gonna, I guess, wrestle with the bird. And now that I know that he's trying to beak at me, I'll also try to beak at him. No, but I can maybe maneuver his head or whatever. I've got to hold it farther away from things that he can go after while still holding him underwater and keeping away from Bertrand. Like you know, it's more the same probably. Okay, well, you already successfully have grappled him. You're already holding him uh, at a distance, and I- I'm going to say that just a-, a luck roll to see if you can just keep him underwater. Yes, and- luck. You're good at that. Why would you... <laughs> luck roll? Sure. <laughs> I am blessed. Now, I never uh, foresaw rules for drowning, so I'm just going to say he's been under f- for three turns. That's a long time. So you just... His, his frantic peeking uh, up out of the water at your Yeah, plus he's not 
All I have to do is not pull a rob. <laughs> yeah, just don't pull a rob. God damn. That's Three right. Five. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> you, you feel it stops. It's We still got another one, though. A big, big air bubble <laughs> comes up to the surface. And it's bloody. You can see the red tinge to it. The light coming down. Oh, the thing. <laughs> Get it. Put it back in him. What? <laughs> All the dirty water? Okay, the one that uh, that had missed is now... It's it's got excellent light vision, so it's it's scoping out the area, and it is going to it it can't uh, fly out of the water, but it can't swim and it can't, so you, it's just splashing. Oh no! But it does it does it finds purchase on some stuff, and it's 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 out of the water. And it's it's soaking. It's dripping wet, and it, it's barely able to like function. Like it could have just drowned there, but. It, it gets out of the water on a, some scrap of lumber or something that can't really tell what's down in here. So it's like, you can just see these eyes in your direction, just peering through the darkness of this. Just use some of your amazing combat or acrobat skills to take care of it. <laughs> okay, and uh, Bertrand still... At least he does have a bird in him, thanks to you. Thanks to us. Ooh, not really thanks to me. That, that was the bird. Good. So it's your turn. Bird is the bird. I gotta... Just come out of the water like Wolverine in that famous scene. Yes. <laughs> I'll see this one last bird, and I'm gonna. <sighs> you gonna try to kill the goddamn bird? My last sword. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll you can draw the sword because you had your hands with the packs. So. Oh no! I had the two packs yeah, in one hand, the sword in the other. Okay. But my sword's in my left hand, probably because I said it was in my left yes, hand. Yes, it's still in your left hand. So I can do something about it. Oh, that was a 12. <laughs> you too. That, that was yeah. close. You almost yeah. skewered Dave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in the dark, you're like, I can't really... I, you come up out of the water. You don't know exactly what you're doing, but you, you, you just, just see my, feral, my mortal enemy in front of me. Feral instinct, this thing clinging to the side of this, this uh, subterranean. And you just... <laughs> blood. Left-handed, even. Yes, yes. So that's... Four and hit my damage. Oh, I killed him in the water. Uh, uh, I'll keep my. Uh, I'm gonna switch hands, put it to my good hand, and watch the hole. Make sure nothing else is coming in. Okay, you're watching. I think we're even on bird kills. I've killed two. Bertrand killed one. Bertrand killed one. You killed two. Yeah. I only killed one. I. You've you've killed more than anybody else. You're a killer. What are we gonna do? Does this tunnel go both ways or just one way? Just one way. <laughs> is, is there one way that's obvious, like the, where the water's flowing and the where light? Well, there's only one way, so. The, the well, water. <laughs> that's what I said that way. Yeah. <laughs> and it, is there one obvious way? Yes. The one way. <laughs> one way. Okay. So, pardon me. It seems like in its construction, this probably wouldn't be underwater, say, well yeah. level. <laughs> but with the rain you've had, it seems that the that the, the bricks that have been used and have, have not kept to the water, and it's actually uh, in now in the, the state of disrepair that it's in, uh, is the low pressure spot that all rainwater just seems to be pouring into. Uh, normally, it would probably if there was water in there, it would be. Or if it was maintained, it would. Yeah, or if drained. it was maintained, when it was maintained, it would have been waterproof. Yeah. Oh, wait for Dave to come back from the bathroom. Bathroom. Batman. It's bad, bad man. Can't believe my rolls. Can't believe your rolls either. Ridiculous. But you haven't died, so there's... What? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm a tank. I can't hit the first... Broad side of the wall, but I can... Never get hit. Yeah. Tell that's Bertrand. Well, you got critted. I can't complete anything. I'm a fuck-up. <laughs> I drown myself. Yeah, but that makes memories. I have... I'm three fingers. I never hurt myself, but you are. Un- I lost a sword. Barely trained. I killed you- three lanterns. <laughs> you, you are a murderer of lanterns. <laughs> that should be my uh, gray <coughs> murderer of the light. That'll be that'll be your, that'll be your sigil of lanterns. They're like, oh yeah, yeah. You destroy light. Yes. Oh, well, that's really t- yes. Destroyer of light. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're gonna be trotting through a dark, dark uh, passageway. Give that a sample to make sure it's... Jesus, that's not full. Yeah. You could have waited to let that up at least. No, you couldn't. You, you've been lucky today so far, so it's, what's the chance of you spilling a drink? 
I'm excellent. It's my character that sucks ass. I'm excellent, he says. In general, I'm excellent. Um, <laughs> um, okay, what are you doing? Can you give first aid to Bircher? Stabilize him at very least in sure. the water? I, I know lots of what first aid in, in, in muddy water, in the dark. There is no... Well, drag him along. Let's go. We gotta go down this tunnel. Yeah. Try to get to dry land somewhere. Yep. Into the darkness. Yeah. Okay. At least we only have to deal with rats. I've never had an issue with rats before. Bertrand might be, but... If Bertrand survives this, I'll be surprised. I hope he has good stuff on his body. I was thinking the same thing. Keys, at least. It takes a while. He gave me the keys. I already had the keys. Did he give them to you? Yeah. He gave me the keys, and that's when the birds attack. There's debris and nonsense uh, in the the water, and it's hard to navigate. But it's a straight tunnel, right? (laughs) It it is a straight tunnel. It's made for... uh, it's not. It's made for speed for people to flee, not for uh, carrying yeah. uh, up the bodies of anyone. Luckily, it's water. You just float him along. No, no, he's he's fully clothed. He's not buoyant uh, by by any stretch of imagination. Uh, I'm covering our back still, like walking backwards as he drags him. Okay, you. Uh, I think we're pretty safe. That bird had a hard time getting in here, so but just in case. You get to the end. There's a um, ladder and a trapdoor leading up. Do you want me to go first? You hold Bertrand above water? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll climb the ladder. I need a... Get, get down. If it's the one in the kitchen, I already opened it. Yeah. He should have gone first. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck! <laughs> That's like the fifth twelve in a row. What's the chance of that? <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. There's no. Yeah. yeah, no one will never be able to win it now, thanks to you. Can you can you get up here with me? <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is. We're gonna die in the tunnel. Maybe you should try a rock attacking the rock next to it, and then when you crit fail that, you'll poke your sword through. Well, I'll the, just uh, pretend everything's a lantern. <laughs> never imagined that there'd be that many criticals, good or bad, in, in one sitting, and this is uh, ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <sighs> I'll jump back down the ladder. Yeah. Okay. I'll be like, maybe you can pick the lock. Yeah, I'll get up there and give it a shot. I mean, I can. No, it's established. If his physical, his, his physicality can't, uh, maybe it's not physical. Maybe, maybe he was pushing and it's a pull. Maybe I could use luck. <laughs> yeah, let me use luck. <laughs> that's my only, that's my only option. You know, like, that's what I'm going for. No, I, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my, uh, plot thing. Okay, now, story wise, how, how, what's, As, after what's I jump down and let him go up and he tries it, I'll notice that there's a, uh, one of the rocks next to me is a different color. You know, push on it, and there's a secret door. That's what I find with my plot point. What's your, what's plot? You only get it one time. You can buy it back, but it's, uh, okay, so you're like, oh, this is, we're rough. I'm like, yeah, you see it, the classic, lay my head against the door and it opens. Put my head against the rock and it opens. And now there is a new tunnel. That you can see. <laughs> now you're like, oh, how am I going to get this working? What's PTP? That's it there. I have two of them. Nice. I have none. Rafik used him for something really, his for really, something really stupid early on. Okay, so uh, this un- unknown uh, before tunnel, for whatever reason, kind of kind of hooks back that way. So it looks like if this was designed, you could come down and... You're supposed to head towards the guardhouse, but if that was rooked, there was this other secret way that went. Okay, that maybe maybe if uh, the you know that the, the they are under pursuit, you were supposed to think they were going to the guardhouse, but in fact, you go this those this, Trixie this, Griffin guys, whatever their names were, the Griffin guys. I forget the name. This one knows. Yep. Look, I found something. Good job. Hey, awesome! You, you saved the day. Uh, is it more water tunnel? Or is it- yeah, it's still it's it's underwater. Uh, it, well, then we might as well keep the same uh, procedure going. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can drag them and all. Sure, I don't mind dragging. Well, I should go first now. Just we don't know where they're going to come apart now. No, no, we don't. Because we shut the door behind us, the birds won't be able to get in. 
Sure that. So I'll go first. Okay. So you all leave the sword out. Darkness. Just feel my way. My sword. And eventually you get to another ladder. That's, uh, do you want to, do you want to do, do this one? It goes high. It goes very high. You can see that it goes past the ground, past like the, the where the stone foundation would be. And then there's a column up above that. How about you go up? Cause I'll be able to drag up Bertrand. Sure. I'll, uh, after I'll climb up there and, uh, Try my luck with the ladder, or try my luck with the with whatever's up there, the door, I guess. Okay. So you get to the, uh, you get to a point up the ladder, and there's like a, almost a little landing area there, and there's a, looks like a, on this side, it looks like a door, um, but you can tell just, just the, the height, the size, it's probably a secret door on this side, too. So there's like something to press kind of idea? It looks like you can open it freely from this side, but the other side is probably before unseen. I see it's, it's like a, a latch. It's on like the a side wall button. or a armoire or something. I'm gonna open it up and okay. I will uh, uh open it well, I'll listen first. Do I hear anything on the other side? No. I will I will open it lightly and peer through what I can like a crack. Okay, you open it up and it opens up and you're up, out in the open, you're up kinda high. And it, the whole stairs that have pivoted away a little bit, and so now you can go up these set of stairs that are going up, but it, they're exposed. They're outside. They're outside, outside. Okay. Yeah. We better just stay in here. Is there, how big is the landing at the top? Uh, just enough for, say, one person to mm-hmm. do what he's done is, which is to just open this door up. We gotta get Bertrand out of the water. So I feel like we're, like, climbing the... Outside of the tower? You have a keep, and there's like an outside. If we kept climbing, we might hit something. But if we keep climbing, we're going to be... We're going to the dark. Birds. Hopefully, we can, if we're quiet enough, the birds won't see us. Birds have excellent night vision. Yeah, but if they're busy with down below, maybe they won't notice we're up here. We don't even know what this leads to. We could, it could you want to go to hit? I just want to get Bertrand on the water. That's what I'm thinking. We can... Okay. One thing at a time, right? Let's get Bertrand out of the water, and I can help with that. Well, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna kind of so swing them over. So my... I can shut this door again because there's no reason to have it open at this point. So you cl- start closing it uh, in front of you or behind you? Are you outside or are you inside? Well, I want to help you with bird tram, so I'm gonna be inside. Okay, so you close the door ahead of you. Yeah, and that way yeah, I'm, gonna start, I'm just gonna lug them over my shoulder and start climbing the ladder. It's a ladder or stairs? Ladder. Yeah, I'm just hold them in. And there's a little, kind of a landing at the top of this, right? Yes. But it's not very big. It's not big enough for all of us. No, but but there's no point having... Enough for a couple people to stand, but not like a couple people to lay down. But I can stay on the ladder and I can throw Bertrand. Yeah. Um, there's no point in exposing ourselves at this point. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to get Bertrand onto that uh, landing. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, you pull him up and he's still unconscious. He's unconscious. Is he alive? Uh, it's kind of dark in here. You don't really have that much expertise. There's no real... You put your head to his chest and you just get full blood, ear full of blood. <laughs> is he fully on this area thing, Randy? Um, yeah, like he's, his arm and one leg are kind of hanging off the I'm side. Gonna, you have key, did he give you a key or keys? He gave me keys to the, well, he gave me. What he gave you? He gave me I don't know what he gave me. He gave me some keys, right? Can I have the keys? Sure. Because what if, what if, where I get up to is locked. Okay. And also search, uh, Bertrand in case there's any more keys or whatnot on him. Because I don't want to get up to the top and not be able to. If there's a place to get into. Okay. So I'll just quit. I'll search for time. Okay. You find, you find more, uh, more keys. You find, uh, too many keys now. That's all right though. Okay. It's better to have them all than not. Uh, You're smart to do that. Some pipe tobacco is pipe. That all, oh, that's all ruined. Really I'm sure it's been underwater for. Yeah, I'm looking, yeah, for keys and whatever. Okay. So yeah, I will, uh. I'll stay here with him and you're going to stick his coat in. Yep. Just, uh, you know, maybe we'll keep the door. Mm, I don't know if you can hear me up from the outside. Let me keep it open a crack. Yeah, yeah. In case I have to get you back in. You don't have to get back in. Yeah. And I will, uh. Do you want the sword? What am I going to do with it? I'm just okay. going to, I'm going to, if worst case scenario, I run. Yeah. It's sheathed again because I had to sheathe it to cleanse the platter. So I'm going to, uh, he's going to get in my spot on the landing. I'm going to sneak out of this door and I'm going to start, uh, you know, sneaking scan around and yeah, quickly, quietly, sneaky upstairs. Okay. You open it up and you start heading up on the, uh, Okay, so we could just stay there and once more and do that then. And I don't know how long I can stay on the ladder, and I don't want to be in the water. Yeah, I want you to throw Bertrand in the water and both stay in the landing. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yes, you uh, could do that. I'm not saying I want to do that. I'm just saying the guy's dead. We don't know he's dead. 
We'll see. We'll see where this goes. So that's that. I, that can be Plan B. At least we're trying something else. So and you if all fails, you run back down here and shut the door. And oh, right, the and bird's sorry, Bertrand, you're dead anyway. So when, when the clo- door closes behind you, it, no, I didn't let it close. Okay, but it, it, yeah, enough Mostly that you can see yeah, that yeah. It, it, it. These stairs that open up continue down and up on the exterior of a building, and uh, <clears throat> your what's your agility? My agility spry. is spry. Okay, and you're unencumbered. You're not wearing heavy armor or anything like that. Wearing hide. I'm wearing hides and a leather Perfect. Cap. Uh, you can make the climb to the top. The stairs are quite old. They're wooden and quite old. Um, and you get, you start getting to the top. You can hear in the distance, um, uh, what sounds like a yell. But you're on like this side of the, this, Building here, you're over here, and the yelp came from there. You can't see. We have no idea even where we are. No, so you might have to continue on. Does it sound human or not human? That sound I just made is what it sounded like. Mm. So it, since Jack made it, it sounded very inhuman. Mm-hmm. Okay. It sounded like a bird saying. or a person screaming. All right. So uh, yeah. So um, but there's nothing. I just I just keep climbing, right? There's nothing yep. else. Okay. I'll hop to uh. I'll have to keep climbing and keep my eye out for uh, either some weird bigger bird attacking me or smaller ones or whatever. So you make a full rotation. Um, then you you hear uh, you hear it again. You hear it's a scream. Now it it, it, uh, it it it's now you can hear it's a horrifying scream. And there's a an explosion of leathery wings and shrieks from. And as you come around the corner from the burning garrison. And the slightly burning uh, pyre over there, you can see it illuminates through the firelight between the burning <clears throat> guards tower and the uh, and the uh, giant, unbelievable bonfire that was created, <laughs> illuminating the night sky. I, I've just witnessed a, I believe, a mass of birds. Is what's, uh, what what are you going to describe? Yes, uh, and not one mass of birds. They speed away from the guardhouse. Uh, the ensuing screams of some poor soul not far from your location. They're blood curdling, but mercifully short. Oh, Leonard got it. You doubt you'll sleep. Uh, uh, you doubt sleep will come to you for the rest of the night. Death, possibly, but not sleep. You're all shaken. You've, you've, so, someone was shrieking in that wave of birds. Well, yeah, there's four people there. I know where three of us are. Maybe. I know one wouldn't. Surprising if there was a third in the person, but we'll see. That person in the well. Okay. That's true. There was somebody in the well. I never got to see. Okay. Well, I will uh, <clears throat> continue to climb to see where this goes because I still feel we're uh, we don't want to be next. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the stairs, uh, uh, the upper stairs creak and groan under your uh, under your feet. Mm-hmm. You reach the top of a tower which contains. Three battered and weather-beaten braziers. They are positioned towards the outer uh, western edge, and the center of the tower is a pile of wood. So there's no inside. So it's roof suspended up. Uh, on the outside, there's uh, is, these that, big dishes meant for burning, and then in the middle is a big pile of wood. Back down the stairs, right? Right. Okay. There's no inside. Hmm? At this point. That's just it's for just the, the fire to right yeah. the fire to warn everyone about uh, whatever, and I don't need the attention via the birds. No, probably not. All right, I will uh, creep down the tower. Or should I explore? Should you look at me like uh, no? Explore what? There's nothing up there. Well, there's dishes, saucer-like dishes, and a pile of wood. But uh, you know what? Eh, I can do that in the day as well. Exactly. Downstairs. Okay, you go downstairs. <clears throat> I will stop by the door where he's at. There's nothing upstairs. I'm trying downstairs. Bertrand's dead. So is Leonard. That was... That, that, <laughs> Save me killing them both, I guess. That was my plan from the beginning, just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if Bertrand's really dead, why don't you just come with me? <laughs> he's not really dead. I don't know. I can't tell. I'll stay with the body. Okay. I think I threw it downstairs. Okay. And again, you're not uh, cumbered, and you're not so you make it. To, they're, they're rickety, and you can feel them, but you very carefully go down there. So thus far, unseen. They, there's a, a, a horror show going on over there with the uh, the uh, 
victim of the bird attack. There's a small fire in front of the residence that you can see in the garrison, or the, um, guardhouse. The guardhouse, which, uh, it's not fully engulfed, but the, you can see some flickering inside that's probably more than just like a fireplace. It's all your belongings. We could have lit the fire on, we could have just lit it on fire and maybe they were scared. Of you should have done that in the first place. And there was your bonfire right there. We look all over for a bonfire. There was one. You could just burn the building right away. Put put the whole place to the torch. It's <clears throat> true. Good lesson in life: torch everything. What? Okay. Don't plan torch everything. I should write that down. Are you at the ground now? Do we make it to the ground? You make it to the ground. There's no door in this tower at all. You are on the ground. On the ground, it's outside in the. This is just a little, little path that goes over there. You can see the guardhouse in front of you down that path. You can see yes, the sturges are fluttering the wings in jockey position on the roof. Uh, the uh, they're without the frenzied activity of earlier in the night. Now only the uh, occasional exploratory, uh, occasionally one will like look around, like swoop around, looking around, uh, and. Um, you can hear, you can hear calls and chitters and stuff that are talking to each other. Um, but none of this is any consolation and, uh, doesn't feel any less grim. You know, that, uh, the fire will be out within, uh, an hour due to dwindling wood supply, uh, over, over on that bonfire. And the guardhouse doesn't seem to be a, an emergency. So, and, uh, the, the, the rain, uh, has slowed considerably. So between the, the the rain just really kept anything from really getting too involved. The gods hate us. I'm alive. What do you do? Well, so what can I do? Nothing. I gotta go back up to you. That's what I was wondering. That was a big waste of a uh, big waste of time. Go back to him. Tell him, listen, this is just stairways. We can go up to the top. There's a bunch of firewood there, like the tons of it, like 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 a bonfire that would last for days. <laughs> no amount of wood. Yeah, but it's probably wet. Well, they probably kept it oiled because they needed it as a as a. There is a roof on this tower. Oh, there's a roof yeah. on the tower. You never said that. I you did twice. But there might be a roof on the tower. <clears throat> but it's all open. The birds see us. We're dead. Yeah, there's we're a roof safe there, from here till morning. The roof. The roof. Can we tell like what time of night it is? The roof is on. Still pretty early, right? No, it's well past midnight now. Just sit here for six hours. <laughs> And not go up to the roof? And what do you want? You want to sit here and... Well, as well as we can escape to the tunnel. The birds come. Or you want to try to drag Bertrand up there? He's got a pre-made funeral fire, I guess. It's true. It's what he deserves. I don't know. I don't think there's a really good answer. Because we're basically... Even if we, get, even if, even if we get up to the top, because there's stuff up there, there's nothing we can do until morning anyways. So we should just go where it's most comfortable. Which is the top? Hmm? Which is the top? Uh, or yeah, I guess is it it's a, not here. We can't fit here. Well, we can't fit three of us here, <laughs> well, and we have to stand for like six hours. Then that's what I'm saying. Like, why don't we just leave Bertrand here? We we'll leave Bertrand here. These stairs aren't great. I don't think. Uh, also, like, what if he like wakes up, starts screaming or something? Oh, I'm in pain, and the birds all come. Whatever. Like, what are we gonna do from up there that we're gonna that we that we can't do down here? We can't do anything till it's light. Till these birds are gone. <clears throat> I mean, I, I mean, seriously, if we get them up there. What are you gonna do? Surgery, and worse, like okay, I'll I'll put him on that platform so he's safe. The smell of blood, okay. and I'll we'll go up top. <clears throat> so you go up top, and again, no one's encumbered, no one's clumsy. So all their stuff is gone, and uh, yeah, we're both pretty spry. Okay, so you get to the top, and like I said, it's a. Pardon. There's nothing up here. A pile of wood, three massive braziers. And uh, we should keep our heads down so we're not silhouetted. Yeah, and get them. Is there a wall around it, or is no. it just open? Just open. Uh, Where's the ceiling? Or the roof? Up. <laughs> like that covers the wood. Covers the entirety of the base. I see. So yeah, we can probably just squirrel into the wood there somewhere a little bit. And we'll see. Yeah, so we'll keep our heads down. down. Yeah. The Relax birds. So they, they seem to be tree level birds more than tower level birds. <laughs> well, okay. if they saw us, they come. But hopefully, they don't see us. Right. I don't know what else we can do. So you, you get to the wood pile and you start just digging a little spot uh, in there. A little bit, yeah. Just leaning against it. Lean yeah. in. You said it's a giant wood pile? 
Yeah. We'll just lean against, like, sit down and lean against it and wait for more. Okay. I just need the luck roll. You can roll that. <coughs> You're lucky I'm not. Well, that's jinxing it. I, uh... Do the primary and secondary mean anything? Yes. Okay. Does it mean anything at this point? No. Okay. I'm just curious. Three, six for my hit and three for my crit. Six. And that's under your, your yeah. That's, that's under luck. I am blessed. Oh, okay, yeah. He's blessed. So you just, he stayed quiet and this, they, they seemed satiated after gorging on something and then, uh, you, you kind of, you don't fall asleep, but you're just laying there and eventually, you know, time passes. I can't sleep. On account of the blood curdling. No, you can't. Right. At a hard point. time, I might, I might just doze off a bit. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're in and out, but for the most part. Okay, uh, in the morning, you cautiously peek around the edge, and uh, the uh, light, the daylight has exposed fresh horrors. How could there be more fresh horrors? You can see Horrors or horrors? Fresh horrors. <laughs> horrors. Uh, horrors. Dope. They sur- sturges have snatched up the corpses of their fallen mates, so there was some sort of s- struggle at some point, and have been noisily feeding. A large sturge with grayish plumage surveys the, the camp from up high. They're still there? With its one good eye. Yeah, it's, it's done. Like, it's he's just looking around with one good eye. Um, in the distance, you can see what looks like a body that's dangling from the lowest branches of a tree. The ones that you were cutting down, there's one... There's a body hanging in there, um, just to the right of the road. We should go see if Bertrand's all right. Are these birds going to attack us now, or daytime their feeding's over? I don't know. Well, yeah, are the birds just sitting there, staying there? Uh, the, the, there's some that are lingering. Like, the ones that have food are, are still, like, eating. We'll wait until, uh, if they leave, especially the big gray one. Okay. And in time, they all... Okay, let's go see if Bertrand's alive. So you see from your, your hidden wood pile. Yeah, sneak down to... Down in there, and... Uh, is that a no? It's not good. In daylight, it looks much worse. It's it's not good. He's on death's doorstep. No, he's not dead, though. What can we do to help him? Do we know basic first aid? You were taught some basics, but... We'll, we'll at least do that for him. Mm-hmm. Stabilize him a little bit. Should we take him up to the top or down to the bottom? Use your time. Yeah, is he conscious at all? No. Want to take him down to the bottom at least? Yeah, take him down to the bottom, get him stable, warm, whatever. Try we to get him to the. We got the keys to the. Throwing no letter to life. That could have been some poor hitchhiker. That's true. We'll we'll try to uh, get him down to the bottom stairs. Okay. Now, are you both carrying him? Yeah, I think whatever is the yeah safest slash best for him. We're both of us carrying him, I assume. Okay, so uh, whoever's got the best fitness, you know that. Well, best fitness or the best chance of rolling? <laughs> <laughs> All rolling fitness. I got average fitness. Yeah, if I get a 12 here. Dice out the window. Just like open up the window and. Yeah, they're gone. Only if you get two 12s. <laughs> Does that count? Don't let jump the ship. Yeah, uh, I can't see what it is, but I uh, would. Seven. I wouldn't think it does. It does. Yeah, it does. I don't. You want to punish me? Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You take it. You take. It. So three. I roll a three. Okay. Okay. So otherwise, Bertrand's just over the side. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The stairs like are really noisy, and they are. There's a fear of collapse in a couple spots. You stop, and you, but you get him down. Where are you taking him? We're taking him to the residence. residence yeah, I guess so. Okay. Since the other place is burned out. So oh. you have to pass past the tree with the... Uh... Yes. Do you recognize that guy? Is that Leonard? Do I recognize the guy? Okay. If not, Leonard's dead. Oh. oh thank you. It's kind of so the missed. body in the tree is that of Bertrand's assistant, Leonard. Torn to shreds clothing revealed many puncture wounds dotting his china-white flesh. The body looks gaunt and withered. 
And uh, was he wearing like this is bedtime clothes? Just normal clothes, clothes that you saw him in. You gonna uh, search him? Before. Yeah, for sure. But let's get. We, we, and his, we'll, yeah, let's we got just, all day to do that. Yeah, we'll just throw twitching. Bird. Yeah, we'll. we'll, we'll He's switch. twitching. He's alive. This leg like, gives a couple twitches. Does that mean alive? Just, just put Bertrand down for a second. I'm gonna run over to uh, <laughs> Mr. Leonard. There, hey. Hey, you need help? <laughs> <laughs> the guy. I'm gonna. Uh, okay, uh, is he up in the trees? Uh. If it, not you could reach his. You could probably reach his hands or. His can hands. I climb up there a little bit so I can get like face to face to him? Uh, yeah, if you, you might, if you're if athletically fit enough, you you're agile. Probably, I think I'm going to try. Okay. Do I have to roll? Cat. What do I need to roll? What, uh, what, what is your uh, agility? Spry. Uh, okay, now you can you can climb up. It's very yeah it's easy. Watch out. But I want to get get up to him and just say, hey, hey, Leonard, Leonard. You can see his cheeks are sallow, his eyes are open and milky, and his... Why was uh, he twitching, though? Maybe there's something inside him. Bugs and stuff. Do they put their eggs inside them? I don't yeah, know. These birds. They're birds. They don't... So, uh, he's, so my assessment is he's dead. Yeah. Check his body while you're yeah, up there. Yeah, check his body, yeah. Okay. Just drag him down. Just drop him down and check his body on the ground. That's true. That's smarter. Thanks, man. Thanks. No problem. No disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect, he falls in two pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just, he's bloated, he's bloated, so he just explodes. He cartwheels off the <laughs> and hits. It's a sickening thud. <laughs> Some rainwater puddles shoot up all around him because just the, the wetness in the earth. And uh, he's laying there. And you wanted to hide out in the residence, so a little like, twitches just it would have been fine in, time. in the uh, windowless room. Is this like still switch? I think he, once it landed, I think you saw a little. His leg keeps swelling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore his, 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 what's on his body, and you know, <laughs> explore his body. Yeah, explore his body. <laughs> like, All the crevices. Well I'm, gonna, well, I'm gonna check for stuff, but I'm also gonna go. Why is his leg still twitching? I'm gonna maybe just, uh, you know, nervous switch, maybe. Maybe. Uh, he is wearing one shoe. It's a uh, nice. <laughs> the remnants of a light shirt, and. Uh, other articles of clothing can be seen uh, scattered around on the road to the north. And you check his leg. Yeah. His leg appears to be the stitched on. Its pallor is a bit on the greenish side. It's and it's multiple, multiple stitches. And... What the fuck? It was the work of the doctor. And now he was the doctor, maybe? It's uh, Frankenstein. Yeah, maybe. Okay, but that's it. That's that. His leg is it wasn't stitched on. He's not... has not have an incision hiding something in there. Okay. Um, right? So, I'll go back to him and uh, report uh, the weird findings. Well, I was right there with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you're you close enough to get a little water onto you. He mentioned something about a doctor. Maybe this is his... Um, he has to repay the doctor. Experiments? I don't know. <clears throat> wonder if this would have happened with your fingers. Mm, could be. We don't know. Anyway, let's go search his room. Yeah, we'll take Bertrand into the into the residence. We have the keys to the front door if they aren't already busted open. Yeah, you uh, you go in and the doors are were closed, but they are unlocked. We bring Bertrand upstairs. The which one was Leonard's room? What, yeah, whichever one his was, we won't go to. Correct. Well, the other one. Doesn't really matter at this point. They're already using it. Well, yeah. Throw him in his own bed to die. Bertrand? Yeah. Okay, so you, you go upstairs to the, um, you're at the landing. You can go right, that leads into the office that uh, Leonard was using. Or you can take the hall that hooks to the left. Take the hall, I guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, as you go on, there's a door to the right, and uh, you can you can go into there, but uh, Bertrand, <laughs> and his eyes kind of open up. You're alive. He's like, oh, oh my God. Do you have any kind of uh, potions or anything to help you in your room, anywhere? Uh, no, no, I have nothing like that. But, oh, what happened? 
And he's holding the, the wood. Bird. Fucking birds. Or fucking birds. What happened? Which one's your room? We're, we're trying to get you to your room to put you in your bed so you can rest. Why is Leonard's leg stitched on? He's, he's, am I, am I delirious? <laughs> yeah, you are. Just, where's your room? You might have answers. Yeah, wait till he's coherent. Okay, he says, uh, he says, it's, it's down further. It's down further. It's on the left. Okay, we'll, we'll kind of like help him to his room then. Okay, so you pass uh, a door on your right, and there's two double doors that open up into another room. And uh, this room contains four beds and four uh, dressers, and this apparently is where Leonard's been, or where uh, Bertrand's been sleeping. One of the beds is uh, a little on the disheveled side, but uh, all, all appearances, this isn't like his home. Like, yeah. th- this is f- very functional. So, um, we're gonna put him in his bed, take off his shirt, wrap him up as best we can with the, we'll make some we have clothes or whatever. We'll make some, yeah, on the bed sheet. Yeah, from the other bed, we'll make, wrap his wounds. Okay. Try to, try to sustain him at least. Yeah. Okay. Get him some water. Yeah. Whatever, stuff like that. So he's just <laughs> laying there. Yeah, we'll just tell him to relax. We'll, we'll, Stay here. Stay alive. We'll try to get you some help. Okay. Okay, now we ransack the place. So in this room, uh, you want to go to, to check the other room? I'll start checking this room. Sure. I'll go, I'll go to the first room that I met Leonard in. Okay. And as you know, there's a desk with a bunch of papers and stuff across it, a large, comfortable chair behind that, and two chests on the one wall and a door on the other. Okay. I'll start rummaging through the desk and the chair and the... Chests and the dresser. And the <laughs> I ransacked the room. I'm ransacking <laughs> the place, but I'm not just dumping things out onto the floor. I'm not. Uh, the desk contains a lot of papers that you cannot fathom exactly what's going on. It's pretty intricate. This guy's an expert level in some sort of cryptography sort of situation. So, so at best, you can probably take the papers, but there's nothing else more. I will take them. I'll, I'll, I'll plan on taking them anyways. I, yeah, I can just take them right now. Whatever. I'll grab them. I think it's important, but I'll keep working. Okay. I'm going to check all the dressers in the, in the first, the four bedroom room. These have Bertrand's uh, clothes and personal items. All of them? Yes. Is there a satchel or anything? Um, yeah. He would have uh, he would have a bag of some sort. Or some okay. Sort. I'll take the satchel. Okay, it's a, it's like a, I'll imagine a laundry bag, but obviously that's not its purpose. But about that size, about the, that uh, thickness, and I got to replace my own backpack. Well, maybe we'll see what the fire did to our stuff. Yeah. And I'll after I do that, I'll head to that other bedroom where I thought he was going, but he didn't actually go there. Okay, so um, you've checked the desk. There's what do you do? There's chests to look at? Yes. I'll check out the chests. Okay. Uh, the chest on the left, left is uh, normal of no interest. It is uh, completely empty. Uh, the chest on the right contains, uh, looks like uh, clothing or cloth, neatly folded. I'll rummage through that. Okay. Just that. And it is... Thunder. Nah, 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 nah. It is uh, co- it comprise the, the its clothing comprising um, tribal clo- clothes like um, uh, boots and anything basically that uh, someone who's traveling would want available. As if he was going to be traveling, maybe. Well, whatever. he's a traveler. Was he? Well, he traveled here. He's obviously a. Well, we traveled here too. We call ourselves travelers. He was setting up shopper. Anyways. Okay, so nothing in there. Um, what else was there to look at? There was a door going door. into another room. I'll check out the door. Okay, that room contains a bed along the north wall and a table on the uh, west wall opposite the door. Okay, I'll... Uh, what kind of thing? Like a kit? Like a Just desk? a plain table. Anything on it? Uh, some small sundry items. In the bed? Uh, unmade. Anything in the bed, under the bed? Under the bed, no. Mattress, anything. The little otherwise room. normal. Just a normal bedroom and a normal table. Yeah, you search the whole office. Hmm? You search the whole office, right? 
Well, thanks for those two chests, a desk, and a door. I don't know. Was there anything else in the office? I've had a little look around. Nope. There's nothing else in here out of the ordinary? Nope. There's another door, though, right? Didn't we pass the door? Yeah, yes. there's one on the right. We I'm going to go to that door, because I thought that's yeah. where he Okay, so you head back, and oh, no. it's okay. kind of in the middle. Yeah. You meet in the middle, um, and this you both walk in. This bedroom contains a bed, dresser, two chests, and a decorative rug. All of which have not been touched for a long time. There's a layer of fine dust all over the surfaces here. Where did he use this room? It's where they didn't room that he used this room, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, you said there was a chest? Yes. I'll check the chest. Uh, the chest is empty. I got a satchel. Is there anything we, I got a, found a satchel in the other room. Anything you need to put in there? Yeah, the only thing I really found was these papers that were, uh, Learn was from account. He was a cryptographer or something. So I can't, read, I can't read them, but who knows? We get our information is power sometimes. So yeah, throw them in them. Who are you checking? Well, there's, he's checking the chests, and there's nothing in the chests. Oh, dresser, the armoire. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. It's a uh, it's a uh, large wooden armoire. Um, Intricate design, but it too, it's been covered in a layer of dust. Uh, it hasn't been used. It's, it just looks somewhat out of place because of its uh, styling. Can I open it? Yes. Anything in there? Um, the doors uh, open easily. It looks like it was for clothing. Right now there is uh, bits of fabric and cloth and uh, Ruined items that have been made into a rat's nest. Kick the nest. Anything in there? Anything in the nest? No. It's just rat feces and. I mean, this is silly, but like he talked about a teleporter. This wouldn't be something like that, would it? You think it's the witch in the wardrobe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, just, I'm gonna get inside and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, not, it's not that big. You okay. can't. Well, I don't know. What, kind of, what else is in the room? Just the bed. What's, what's behind the armor? Okay. You, yeah. And it moves across the floor, and it, this low dust comes up. And I have mouse. I found a mouse. Mouse. Anything under the bed? Nothing under the bed. Anything under the rug? No. Oh, yeah. this is dead end. Well, we have still the keep to check. There's one more door down the hall. Oh, we missed a door. Yeah, we'll go that way. Tell us how you tease us with that, and then <laughs> you go down the. Oh, nothing under the bed. Nothing in the chest. End. <laughs> Uh, and you go into this room. Uh, this bedroom contains a bed, another armoire, uh, different looking, a little bit bigger, and a chest as as someone would expect, because they seem to all have uh, whoever lived there. That, that must have been the, what, what they had was a. This seems to be like a standard dormitory situation. I'll check it there more. You check out the chest. Yeah. However, the center of the room is. <laughs> However, in the center of the room, uh, and somewhat out of place, is a large, ornate piece of furniture. What kind, what, of, what piece kind of furniture? furniture? So you said you're going to the armoire. <laughs> well, we weren't going to be like, yeah, well, why is this giant piece of furniture yeah, in the middle? As we finished our glances. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We both started going, wait a second, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> large, ornate uh, furniture piece is nearly the size of a bed. The surface is completely comprised of <laughs> metal ornamentation. Uh, swirling patterns of copper and silver trace delicate lines towards the flat surface of the top and con- converge into three concentric rings, this design. Um, so, yeah, it looks like some sort of... How big is it? Object. About the size of a bed. Yeah, uh, as tall, as as wide as a single bed. So you can get on it? Yeah. You, do, you, do any of the pieces move? Like, is it... He's going to start fiddling with it. The rings contain symbols... And uh, the rings do rotate, which act as a, as some sort of mechanism. The three rings do... Coordinates? I'm going to check the chest. Hop up on there. I'm going to check the chest first. Just... Maybe there's instructions in the chest. Okay, smart. I'll check that. Okay. Um, so the chest interior... Uh, yeah, the inside is uh, clothing. New or old? Quite, quite, quite old in in appearance. Vintage clothing, but they seem in pretty good shape. So that whoever used this room must have bought 
good quality leather, good quality. But nothing that you, you see is actually good. No, you're, you're just rifling through. Like you could, you could replace your clothing with. But I'd look like a fool because I'd be wearing like centuries old clothes. Um, uh, yeah, I think people might notice uh, something out of sort. It'd be like wearing like a. 60s clothes now. Yeah, uh, quite possibly. If you travel to far and abroad, people might go, oh, well, he, that must be the style of the time where he's from. But I had an onion on my belt. <laughs> yeah, but so far, between the two rooms, you have a, a looks like a, 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 the traveling, so, someone who's preparing to make a long trip in one chest, and here you have probably been here for a long time, but good quality. Um, James in the armor. Yep. Yeah. The armoire. Okay. Um, the armoire is wooden and old. The doors, doors creak in protest as when open. So, and you can you hear Bertrand in the other room or down the hall. It sounds like he's coming to. He's like, oh, "What are you? What are you guys doing?" Are you? I'll, I'll go while well, he's still searching. I'll go in the hallway to inter- intercept him. Okay. Um, so it looks like it's empty. Is it empty? I'm gonna reach my hand in there. It looks like it. You just uh, doing this? What do you? I don't know. It, just the way you say it, it looks like it's empty. So you just wave your hand. Circle of trust, Jack. You, <laughs> for those that, for those listening at home, uh, Jack was out of the circle of trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is we uh, trying to go to bed? Yes. I'll get back into bed, sir. You're 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 no shape to be up. I'm gonna and I'm yeah. I'll see at this armoire. I'm at the armoire that is just no one's anything behind it. So you start dragging on the armor? Well, I might as well have done the other one. Might as well find the other mouse. You can hear something rattling around. In the armor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, whereabouts do I think it is? Top, bottom, sides. Like, is it, like, can I feel it? Is it inside? Do so I get, you tap the top? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. And there's no, do I see a secret drawer or look, look, like, look for something hidden? That, there's no drawer in the front. No drawer in the front? No. Nothing on the sides or the back or the... Sides or back of the uh, so your tap tap the tap, actual tap, door tap 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 doors no if I shake it where do I think the sound's coming from near the bottom area where a drawer might be I'll explore that a little careful we'll see if there's a hidden drawer in there somewhere no hidden drawer can I break it like just smash the top of the yeah try to, if it's if I'll it's, smash well if if if, uh, if there's it could just be a piece of broken wood but if there's something there's a hollow spot in there. I want to try Did to it sound hollow when you tapped it? Did it? You tap on the inside. Toot, 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 toot. Sounds very hollow. It's very hollow. Uh, and I don't think there's any way. Like I, I, I've tried to. Well, I, now that you've tapped the inside, the the uh, uh, the interior, uh, it reveals a false bottom. Okay, I'll remove that. Okay. You know, you don't have to smash everything, Dave. <laughs> Inside the uh, shallow recess is a small purple velvet pouch, a ace pouch, a stone, and metal object which resembles a corner piece of a puzzle. So it's a it's it's made of stone uh, and metal. You can't tell if it was metal inlaid into stone. If it was stone uh, inlaid in the metal, or this is an organically crafted thing, but it's square. It's got a square corner, and there's a uh, looks like a couple bits that would attach to something, uh, and a large red gem. You ready to sell down, Dave? Well, yeah, I'm going to. I just was gonna. So I will. Uh, so I've got a large red gem, the stone metal corner piece puzzle piece, maybe, yep. and a purple pouch. Yes. Okay, I'll. Take all the items. Okay. And they've been there a, a quite a long time. There's, they're very dusty, and the the, the, the velvet pouch um, at one time had something gold written stitched into it, but that's completely failed now, and it had a little drawstring. How big's the pouch? Like, say, like a crown royal kind of thing, small crown royal or something. It's exactly what it is. The crown size. royal. What? It's the size of a crown royal. Oh, he said exactly. It's Crown Royal, so maybe it's from the future. Maybe, maybe the teleportation, the time, was teleported in the future. And you said a red gem? Yes. I don't know what that is, and... Uh, Does it have numbers on it? No. <laughs> it's not a D20. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. All right, do I think the gem's valuable? It was stashed in... Uh, 
possibly a hundred years ago into a secret compartment. So you're pretty sure there's something. All right, I'll stash those away for now. And the stone metal piece, does it match up at all with the piece of furniture in the middle of the room? No, you would think so, but it does not. I would think so, but it does not. Yes, so maybe but, uh, Bertrand's something. is like, oh, what's what's going on? He wants to get into the, the room. I was like, he didn't want to go back to bed? No. Hey, Bertrand, come on in here, man. What's he going to do? He's wounded. I'm serious, actually. Let's find out what he knows. Yeah, okay, I'll let him in. Okay. Bertrand, we're just checking this place out, looking for something to help you out with. We're also looking for make sure there's no more birds. I mean, we safety first, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's like, oh, okay, well... Yeah, we. I, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty beat up, but I'm gonna make it. Good. Good. What's this thing? Ah, that's what Leonard was working on. I assumed. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Well, he told you it's a weapon to destroy the dwarves. Made to destroy. Well, legend has has it. This is a weapon. Mm, yeah, that's not exactly what you said the first time around. But uh, I mean, you're lost a lot of blood, so <laughs> keep it at that. What he said was they they missed things, and one of them was this. Huh? During our conversations, he had, they hadn't found this. But now it's talked like about like as if they knew it all along. When I asked him, I asked him questions like, uh, "Is there anything surprised you of what you have found and or haven't found?" And I believe this was in the "haven't found" category. Yeah, this 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 thing isn't the weapon, but the, the, this is what led the key to the weapon. The weapon. The, 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 it's the key to the weapon, not the actual weapon, or uh, you know, some some hint or something. Or it is the actual weapon, and they just don't know it. And they don't know how to use it. Now, unfortunately, now with Leonard, uh, obviously, he's, that's terrible. His, his work without his papers and stuff, what, we may never know. He was like the premier expert. Well, his papers will still be here. The birds only ate him. They didn't need his papers. Yeah, but I can't read. Like, who who here could could, could, could develop, divine the... the yeah, the, it, but at least the papers aren't gone. Somebody else can maybe yeah, start his yeah. researching it. Hopefully. Yeah, someone else could start his research, couldn't they, Bertrand? Interesting how you're walking around, nearly almost dead. These birds come and eat your assistant. The very thing, working on this very well machine, the thing that you got out of bed for because you're so interested in, he's the bad guy. <laughs> it's I, obvious. I was now. wondering how long it would take for, for Asterius' paranoia to kick in. Are you bad? <laughs> so you were sucked to death last night, dragged through a sewer, out of, in bed, and then you get up specifically because you hear some things being moved around? Yes. Why? What could we do? What could we possibly be doing right now to make you get out of bed and try to... Uh, your, your life's work in Leonard's room? I don't trust this guy. Well, no, th- this isn't where... This is, this is Leonard's room. Leonard's room was through that door. He's got an office there. I don't know if you saw it. And it's in there. He should... Uh, Go on. Th- this wasn't Leonard's room. Okay. But Leonard is working in it? Yes. Were you, Why was nobody in the other room? Why didn't you stay in the other room? The private room. Why'd you take the one with four beds? I have a lot of stuff. I'm <laughs> staying here for five years. I needed all that space. <laughs> it's funny how Leonard was packed to move, though. Did you know that? He was ready to leave? Oh, why would he? I don't know. He's well, supposed to be here until he opens up. This. Interesting. He was... Uh, in, our, in our walks around the house, have we noticed any breaks in the ceiling or, or windows broken open or doors scattered open? Leonard knew there was a bird attack, yet still chose to leave. Interesting. Why? To save you, perhaps? No, the front door was busted open, wasn't it? No, it was, it was closed, but just not locked. Leonard, in some way, either chose to leave or was forced to leave. Perhaps someone who can make late time could achieve something like that. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't I, do it. Could you I do it? has gone through a lot. Okay. He, hey, start, start drinking the Kool-Aid and figure out what's going on here. He says, I, uh, I was unconscious for a considerable stretch of time. I have regained some of my vim and vigor. Not much. Well, not to be on his side, but you're also unconscious. How'd you know that uh, Leonard was dead? Because I... <laughs> <laughs> I was and now I don't know if it was Jack's fault or his fault. <laughs> I was semi-conscious in the morning. <laughs> He's faking the whole time. I'm just saying, why did Leonard leave during this worst attack? And interesting enough... Why was he walking around out when those uh, when those uh, birds were uh, when we first approached? He was outside. Birds didn't touch him. Suddenly, the birds come uh, streaking in here. I don't know. I mean, what did he say exactly? Those things haven't been around in a long time. Someone who manipulates time might have been able to change it so they come in. Why would you want to kill Leonard? I don't know. 
Why would he want to kill Leonard? Leonard, Leonard, Leonard was obviously afraid of something. Why, why do you? Why do you always do this? <laughs> I'm just connecting the You're obvious. Embarrassing us. <laughs> He's like, hey, 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 Sterius, we, we, buddy, we, we sat, and we drank, and we, and we did smoked cigars, and we, we did had a pipe, and we did, we did had a good time. I don't know why. I wouldn't know why either, except except here with with two people, there's weapons of mass destruction. And perhaps you weren't close to find them. Perhaps you did find them. And now you have buyers to find them, maybe? Or you have people... Well, let's who- just say if this was true, we're not going to blow you in or anything. We just want to cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe my intentions were... Right. I just, you know... He says, well, what, what can I do to prove my innocence? I can show you my work. Do those... Okay, well, let me just think about first. One thing I wanted to try before we... we this, we went down this. Well, I went down this path. The papers I gave you with the codes on it—do they match the machine? The symbols that were on that machine with the, the discs that turned. Just he looked very at much that. so. Very much so. He was working on cracking this code. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, perhaps he did. He was ready to travel. He he. He said it would take two days. He told you that. Mm-hmm. He was and about it, to get it right. And then he ran away on the night. A guy who knows. I, time, I do find it strange that the birds got in here and killed him. This was written. I don't know. In the future. I know. It's crazy. He knows what, what, what happens, whether he knows it now or not. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at some point he knew it, and he... The future knew you, right, knew the past and, and, you. And reacted, and reacted. Well, I'm glad you let your life, Richard. My, uh, yes. And one day maybe I will be able to travel through time. That's not a power that anyone has nowadays anymore. Uh, um, I have... I have no doubt that it's possible. I've heard it has. There's, there's been plenty of. People. I'm going to take out the metal stone piece that I found. Does this look familiar? That's what I needed. That's what for you my need. work. Really? What does that do? He, 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 he smiles and says, "That's the piece of the time room. That's, that's the key." So it's got nothing to do with this machine, but it's got something to do with what you're working on. Why would they do that? Why would they? Who is they? The original owners. The people who are meant to keep this safe and the ones that have handed it off to the government. But I, I can I have it? Do you know of a doctor? Uh, Let her mention to me, the only thing he said to me was something about a doctor. That, that tell the doctor I'm going to have it soon. Oh, he answers to me, not to the... To no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he, he, there was something up with him, which is why we find it so suspicious. We were sent to uh, sniff out this uh, conspiracy. And it was either you or Leonard, and Leonard's dead. But Leonard was acting squirrely, and he also has a uh, zombie leg. That's right. You can go see it if you want. Well, I I, I was laying there, and I looked over, and it, I just saw him fall, and I saw you guys checking him out, but... And his leg was twitching, because it's a zombie leg. But I couldn't, I couldn't really see it. Well, it's a zombie leg. It's stitched on. We assume this doctor did it that he was working for. The doctor. Yeah, he just said that. <laughs> did Leonard mention anybody? No. How long have you known Leonard? Years. Did you know he had a leg that wasn't his own? No. Do you know of any doctor that might be able to do this? Yes. There is legend of a underworld, shady underworld figure. Um, they call him the Blight Doctor. Blight, as in from that city? Yes. The same, the same, oh, what he does is, uh, um, he dresses like the old light doctors that... Uh, With the face things? Yes, the face things. Oh, that, so you've heard of them. That, 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 look, that look like those birds that just attacked us? They... Yeah, but funny enough, yeah. Kind of do. No shit. <laughs> but, so the Blake doctor sent these birds. Why maybe, would they kill his, his guy before he was finished, though? Maybe, maybe, wasn't maybe, that, maybe that's why he ran away, because he thought I was coming to get it, and he panicked, and he goes... I can't give it to this doctor. He's insane or whatever, and he tries to run, but the birds got him anyway. Maybe the birds weren't for The us. birds aren't that smart. I guess that he was probably told to stay in, locked inside, let us kill us, so we're out of the way. I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking Leonard was going to betray this doctor, and Leonard wanted to run whilst the birds were attacking us. Only the, there was too many of them. Something scared Leonard out of the house, that's for damn sure. What could that have been? And it was really close to doing this machine, getting it right. He said two days to him. 
And that was yesterday, so it was one day. He was pretty close. He, we don't know. He could have had it and just been kidding. We don't know. But that's the thing. Did, did he activate the machine and something came through and scared him out of the house? And that's why he went outside? Something scared him out of this house, and it wasn't us. I did hear a strange yell. I assumed it was either him dying or the birds, but it scared me enough that I didn't sleep last night. Well, did any of us? Well, except for you, Bertrand, because you're unconscious. Excuse me. Uh... You, I'm not sure if I trust yet. No, you cannot have this piece yet until we figure out your motivations. But I'm not here to steal it from you. If we find out that that your motivations are pure, of course, you can have this piece. We're del- we're a little suspicious, is all. This this mission went sideways pretty quick. Birds that weren't supposed to be here were a letter sent from the future, a dead assistant who was safely locked in the only place. Well, not the only place, but a, one of the safest one places of the safest places, place. places so far. Locked himself in too. He locked me out. I was going to kill myself, frankly. I'm kind of upset that he was already dead. I was going to shove my sword through his throat. I was really excited about that. It's okay. He's got a leg that's still alive. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <laughs> we regress. <laughs> so he says, no, where, where would you find that piece? I've been looking all over the key. The key is to turn rooms over. Mm-hmm. It was in the... There's a time and place for, like, taking care of artifacts and putting them nicely, and there's kind of a place to not do that. And if you did that, then... Let's point to the broken armor. <laughs> I actually never broke it. Yeah, but you busted the floor up from did it. Did I? That's what I they... I just moved it. Well, you, you did move it. But like you, the, It's out in the bottom of it's tipped up, and the doors are hanging off. You shake a few armors, you find a few ge- gems. Okay, so where do we think we're at here? Yeah, so what do we do now? Let, let we think... <laughs> What's this looking at like? We? <laughs> he, he was critically injured, right? He was pretty fucked up when we last left him. Mm. He maybe lied about not having a potion. Did you lie about not having a potion? Maybe he lied about how sick he was. He did have a bird thing right through his chest. That was... He's pretty sick. Yeah, there is still some chance that he has some control. He's a time mage. Maybe he just sped up his, uh, his healing. Did you speed up your healing? No. On how you walk, like, you're your little death store. He can still be. Is his chat, is he got clothes on him? We took his clothes off and wrapped him up. Yeah, no, he's still, he, like, when we wrapped him up, did we still see that gaping, terrible wound he had? Yeah, the, the wound was still there. But you know that, uh, that if you're allowed to sleep overnight someplace. He recovered a bit. He recovered enough to come from unconsciousness. So he had, he, he could have, like, one hit point. He is he is looking rather rough, but uh, there's a, a, a light in his eyes now. Like he's he's got a lust for life. He's got a lust for life, uh, as as uh, especially when he saw the gym. Um, well, not the gym. You know, he's in a void of gym. Oh, yeah. the, uh, the uh, stone. Piece, yeah. I don't know about the gym either. I never know about the stone. Mm, I'm not hiding anything from you. I just I don't need to. It just hasn't anything. happened. I was right. uh, uh, even if you had all the papers for this machine, like if he solved it, would you be able to read it? Oh, I think we could all read it. We're all literate, but I don't know if we could make sense. That's what I mean. Like, no. You, even if he, solu- if, he, if he had the solution, he wrote down the solution. We still couldn't figure it out. Probably, unless well, he wrote maybe. it in clear English, <laughs> maybe or common, whatever words he, words we speak. It depends on how thorough he was. Or where's your machine that it's in the keep? I assume. Yes, up where the um. It's up, up near the top. There's the signal area. There's the where we keep our owls for sending messages. There's some other stuff, and it's another signal area. We're in the other signal tower. Oh, this is for our our, our rook for our owl messengers. Well, shall we go to the keep? We'll show you a Leonard's leg on the way by. One step at a time, right? Like, why did Leonard leave? We don't know yet. It's, it's, Are we sure it's because he didn't get something in here? Should well, we I just, think should we at least summon check, something. Should we at least just check the place out then? Oh, make sure it's still not here. All right. Before we end up just doing whatever, right? What about Bernard? Well. Bertrand. <laughs> so I think we have some communication going on here. Why don't you still get some rest? We're not going anywhere, obviously. We want to figure this out. And, you know, we're, we obviously don't know what even machine we're looking for in the tower, so we can't go and do crazy things. Get some rest. We're going to just check the camp. Make sure we're not afoul of anything, because something. Are you? Are you? Is a little you say foul because they're birds. <laughs> but you know how I feel about birds, right? That's my suggestion. 
I think it's a good idea, Bertrand. Who else to show a level of trust? Go lay down for a bit. Relax. If I'm going to lay down someplace, it's going to be in my cot by my by my work because I'm I'm I I know like as soon as you guys figure things out and you hand me that piece, I will be able to. It, it's a life's work, a, su- a success story that I thought was going to be another three or four years. I don't want to spend another winter here. It is a nightmare. Uh, my, my, my best friend that I've met in about five years has, uh, made horrible accusations. Oh, I'm getting worked up. Oh, I'm getting worked up. He's talking about you. You're his best friend. Aww. Okay. How's this? You come with us to search the place, then we'll go to the keep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you just, whatever. You don't have to search with us every room, but you just relax and. Well, he's going to come with us. Keep an eye on him. Okay, so where, where, where are you searching? Do you want to try to look at this machine real quick with the code? No, it's the no. next part. Sorry. Well, we've searched all up here, right? Yeah. Now? Up the upstairs? So we go downstairs. We've got... Uh, north and south. North and south. The patio, the storage room, the workshop, right? Check all those Kitchen, days. I think. Well, let's give it a check. I think we'll just go together. Just, grab some, just grab some vittles on the way by in the kitchen to get some sure. food in us. You are hungry. You, you skipped your dinner and... Well, uh, I ate a... F- Whatever I could find quickly. Right. So so you can go to the kitchen and make yourself some food. Well, we're not going to eat. Yeah, well. Bertrand would be okay with that. Okay, let's go get some food to get something in yeah, us. Yeah, as we're searching. Okay, I'm just going to How about food. you go with Bertrand to the food, start cooking it up or whatever, and I'll search the uh, the other side. Oh, I was just thinking like dried goods, but sure. Yeah, whatever. But I'm just gonna, I'll go to the workshop while they go that way. Okay, all right. I'll just make sure, because the workshop's the only thing that way anyway, so I'll just make sure that room's secure still. A okay. Okay. Exactly how you left it. Kitchen? Um, yeah, you're looking around. Everything's exactly the, the counter space, the trap door, the uh, um, hearth. Everything's good. All right. Good. So, was there anything off the kitchen? No. Nope. Just the nope. kitchen, right? All right. So, I'll uh, gather us up some food. Start. Yep. When I get to the kitchen, I'm going to check the trap door. Is it how I left it? Still would, yep. So this wasn't the trapdoor I couldn't open. That was somewhere else. That was in Keith, maybe. We still don't know where... Bertrand, do you know where this trapdoor goes? Yes, yes. There's a larder down below. Yeah, so. I haven't been down there for four or five years. But not at Secret Passages. Not that I know of. Yeah. But well, that's I true. We, we did find one already. But I didn't know about the one that led back to the tower. That was... Yeah. Un, un, until that happened, it, it did almost like it didn't exist. Well, you were also totally unconscious at that point. How did you know about it at all? And that's true. He didn't know about that. Okay. That was you, not him. No. <laughs> okay. That's a much better answer than the one Thank you. Were. You're going to make us more paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was basically inferring that it didn't exist. I was. I know. You were, you were making a joke yeah. instead, but yes. <laughs> we took it as a... It's actually a pretty smart, smart idea, though, because if they were trapped in the guard, if the guards were trapped in the tower, but that thing had to get lit, they might want a way to do that as well. Anyways... So we'll grab some vittles and then head towards the keep. Again. Well, there's still the... Did you check the workshop out? Yeah. Still the storage room. Yeah, you guys checked that. You're, it was on the way by. Did we? I don't remember. I thought no. we were in the well, kitchen. It's, it's, you just look it's in right there. And it's fine. Thing. And then the last place would be the... Uh, patio? Yeah, that we've looked at. Yeah, maybe the yeah, girl on the patio there. and there's a couple dead surges laying right. on the... From, from fighting? From other. fighting amongst each other, mm-hmm. but possibly... Uh, okay. So we don't were any of these doors open? No. So the place was sealed, except the front door was just shut. Right, but not locked, as if he left through the front door. Yeah, he definitely left. There's no way they broke in. They wouldn't be that... that right. Uh, and then he ran, and they got him, and they, they got him good. Like, they strung him up in a tree. Like, is that him or someone else? Someone else strung him up there, and they just killed him afterwards? Well, I'm just saying, if, you, if, if, if part of our theory was that this guy summoned these birds, that he might also... I don't think it was him. I think it was the doctor. But I think the doctor someone would kill us, but unfortunately he got cut. Oh, I think we're probably just ins- insubstantial at this point to the doctor. Like, well, not, maybe not us, but I mean Bertrand probably. Maybe they were working on different things. Who knows? Yeah, but he was all he would have been here. He probably wouldn't let let uh, Leonard leave with the information. He only wants what Leonard was working on, and if Leonard had it figured out. That's right. He would have come to get it. Yeah, and then Leonard would. Anyways, let's head towards Keith. And when I walk by Leonard's body, if it's still there. I'll point it out to Bertrand, checking his leg. Okay, he's, he's like, oh, Leonard, Leonard, oh, that's, this is horrible. And he kind of looks and goes, oh, that's unnatural. 
No shit, it's still twitching. He's genuinely surprised by this. Well, I think you can yeah. see why we're a little freaked out. Uh, I, I can see that. Let's continue down the path here and head back, head to the keep. Yep. Okay. And then uh, as yeah. you go and you pass, uh, you pass a, a shoe on oh, the ground. When I, when I walk by where I was cutting wood, I'm going to grab my axe. Okay. Cause I left it there. I'll put it in the bag with earlier stuff. You might have to carry it. It's the bag's about laundry bag size. Well, yeah. The handle will stick up yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So head down the path and uh, you pass a, a lone <laughs> shoe. doesn't ask why I have his bag yet. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't have like a monogram or like that. So, uh, nothing you, in the shoe. Like, I'm going to just check this stuff out quietly as we go by. No, okay. kind of like you're walking towards the keep and you look and see the shoe and go, mm-hmm. give it a kick or whatever. And you go and there's another tattered bit of cloth. As you're almost I mean, he was, a, he was torn up, but he's coming. All this stuff torn up is coming from the keep, not from the house where he would have been. So he got to the keep and got dragged out of the keep. The keep. We there. never knew he was, we never th- knew, we didn't know if he was in the house. We just know the door was locked. Maybe he was in the keep the whole time. Sorry, Bertrand's evil. You gotta kill him. <laughs> he told me yesterday that he would show me the tower today. And here we are. The only thing he's protected this entire time, the only thing we haven't seen is this tower. The very thing he's leading us to right now. Yeah. The very thing. Is this a coming out in natural, like out in the open, or is this your mind just kind of, cause you? Well, I don't have a sword. <laughs> so I'm not afraid of this. I'm saying it right now. I'm not afraid of this Bertrand guy. This guy is evil. He's letting us to the place of his power. Oh, my. Uh, my friend gets a little paranoid when he's in, in danger. You're like, you're right. It's the only scary. place he hasn't shown us is this place. I asked specifically to get to it. He wouldn't let us in. He told me, oh, I'll show you that tomorrow. And, and I, We're going right to the place of his power. He st- he st- I have the thing that he wants in my pocket. He starts reaching in his pocket. My, my keys, I can't... Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, doors open. <laughs> they were latched, but not locked. What are we talking about? The door that keeps open. Yeah. It was supposed to be, it was locked. You don't know, no one, you didn't check. Well, he assumed it would be locked too, because he was checking for his keys, which we have. Bertrand, I'm telling you right now, do anything squirrely, my friend here is going to kill you. He's he's murdered people with bare hands, I've seen it. You probably saw it, he killed a bird with his bare hands. I I, I don't know what to tell you, I... It's, I'm just saying... It's hard to trust you. Just settle down. Yeah, the one thing you, you've kept you've kept quiet, I mean, was Leonard's work in here? No. Leonard's work was in here. Yeah, now we suspect he was leaving from this tower. I, I, the I tower where you did all your all of your work. All all of his project <laughs> should have been in that building, and all of mine should have been up here. I don't know. I just love it. Asterius goes from zero to 100. And is, is, you're too trusting. I'm not trusting. You're too trusting. I just think that you're hilarious. You go from nothing to full on. Because it's something. Settle down. Take a deep breath. You're getting upset. Look at the evidence. It's all super. I, I get it. It's all. It's not you hardcore think evidence. The Earth's round too, don't you? <laughs> it's not hardcore evidence. I get it. But <laughs> you got this guy who wouldn't let us in the tower. Why? We don't know. Refused to. Slightly said, "Okay, we'll show you today." We got evidence of this guy leaving it. Now he's taking us there right now. If he's got, if we're in his way, which for all we knew, he, the tutorials he wanted, he, not the tutorials, the, uh, the owl thingies, wanted Sturgis. Yeah, Sturgis. Maybe you want us to die die with them? He's he's just like, uh, I am too weak to flee, but I am really scared right now. Time traveler, astral projection, I saw his powers. I have money, if that'll save my life. <laughs> I have... Don't beg. I it's have... unbecoming. I, I am this I'm this close to my Sir, life's work. Uh, we won't kill you unless you try to do something to us. It's I, I'm not... Settle down. You're very untrustworthy. I know you have that hard, hard upbringing, but we can do this. It is Bertrand, show us to your area at least. Okay. And he start, as he starts to walk away, I'll be like, don't worry, if he tries it, I'll kill him. We have a letter from the future. Yes. We have a letter. Okay. You enter Vineland Keep Tower. And that is where we will end it for today. <laughs> You're going to give Dave a heart attack. The dude's bad news, man. There's no way he's not bad news. Drinking with me all day, not worried about a thing. We warn him about the... We're taking him to his place of power. Well, there you have it. A fun time was had by all. Join us next time for The End of Ages.